I do what I can. Real crisp. I do what I can. It's real crisp today, isn't it? Absolutely. Yes, sir. Y'all, no one made any faces. Join in look at me like he'd be crazy. You know how he do, you know. <laughs> Pretend to be yeah, awake. He talk, Jonah talks well with his eyes, with his eyeballs. You feel me? It's that good, effective communication. Yeah, you got to have that sometimes. Sometimes <laughs> that's bad for me because I'm letting you know I feel like you might be a dumbass on how I'm looking with my eyes. <laughs> be like that. Yeah, be like that sometimes when you're talking it to people. It definitely does. <laughs> it definitely be like that. Oh, shit. How was y'all weekend? I don't think we man, talked was, much over the weekend. Jonah was I out of was town. Busy. Yeah, I was a busy man. Jonah was I out was, here uh, kicking it. How was nice. LA, bro? It was it was great. Got to see the boys. Zen. It's always a, it's always a good time to reset. That's a good place to re to do that. We did we did a little bit of everything, man. The sun shining, kicking I'm it with you guys. Though, I'm working on working on two hours of sleep in the last two days right now. God, so you, you got it. You got it. You got it. As long as you you ain't like you ain't got no kids to wake you up, you can get some rest. That's got the that best college part. energy. <laughs> get that. Oh my god! Because I used to think about this shit. I used to like how much sleep I did not get. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Usually I'm not like this. So I had the, the tank was the tank was full of what I needed to do. Yeah, I, <laughs> you. I got you. I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I no, do. I can't. Like sometimes, like I, I'm already a dilemma now for the next weekend. I've been invited two things. So I'm like, and you're like, damn, I gotta prep my week. Somebody, like, somebody about to get disappointed. I'm like, what is going on? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like the moves, like that shit, the moves that aren't shit getting is, made bro, like they used to be. <laughs> like, fam, like it's so much. You know when like, we be so excited do. when the summertime get here, then you look up, you get invited to all these places. And then it's hot out. Shit, I'm not my going age, outside. It's hot out. My age. Oh yeah, listen. My age. If I have to leave, if I to, if I'm already outside and I have to go home to come back out, hey, just sorry, sorry. X me off the list. I'm not coming back. The humidity is kicking. <laughs> Yo, that's the that one thing weather. people. Yeah, that man. John Thompson towel weather, bro. Shit, you gotta me. have it. I don't give a damn what size you are. <laughs> I don't give a damn what size you are, man. And people don't realize Chicago be humid as fuck. Midwest don't are know, different. Yeah. Midwest they don't know, and it's, different. And July and then like August. Oh my god, that shit is ridiculous. You don't want to go outside. You pick and choose. Personal like, fans and shit. Yeah. Uh, yes, bro. Like, look, uh, yeah. next weekend is the uh, NASCAR shit. Mm-hmm. Oh, <laughs> no! Nah, it's gonna probably be hot as fuck here. I might have it's to go down there midweek just to like get the lay of the land. I, hey, I got good luck. I heard some horror cool. stories already. Oh, I bet. It's bad. No, it's bad. Yeah. Like I saw them building. Like you know, you got you got to build bleachers. You got to build all types of shit. This ain't like a marathon. People just stand to the side. Mm-hmm. Like people are coming for this. You you're doing a NASCAR street race. You can't have the cars crashing into anyone. No. No, no. Yeah. So it's gonna be. Yes. I think Columbus is gonna be closed down. It's gonna be. Oh yeah. It's gonna be. Hit. First of all, that's a holiday weekend. I'm gonna be hiding. And Wait, you gonna have I'm, this here? I'm I'm hiding away. I'm not gonna get some anywhere. Little, Twitter search, call it good. Yeah. Pull it up on the TV. What I do? This what I do? Oh, everybody was gone. Everybody was with a grandparent. For the last <laughs> week. Everybody's nice back now. Qu- nice and quiet for a little nice bit. Nice and quiet. I slept in to like 10 o'clock on Saturday. Was it Saturdays? Man, what? <laughs> I can't tell you the last time I did no shit like that on purpose. On purpose. I, don't, I was about to say <laughs> on purpose. <laughs> yep. On purpose. That shit don't never happen, man. Yep. But man, I'm, I'm relaxed. I'm excited to pod. I did get some rest. Jonah, you got some rest. You 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 still young, man. That's okay. You you can make it. You talking about poops and all the shit you like? You're gonna be just fine. But <laughs> this fucking draft. I was telling Jonah before I got on. Man, I I didn't get to see all of it. My electricity went out after like pick oh, three, yeah. pick three or four. But I followed it. So it was it was some cool moments. It was some hilarious moments. Like uh, Fat Joe had a funny ass moment. I saw that shit live. I don't know if y'all saw that shit, but that shit was nah, hilarious. I was watching the the other stream with JJ and Jay Billis. No, I was watching like Stephen A. No, 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 no. Oh shit! 
I got a billion streams now. It do got yeah, billions. Was... Maybe, maybe my, I think when my TV, when my literature came back on, it just ended up being on that channel. But oh, Fat man. Joe, Fat Joe was on there. And so, first of all, ESPN, y'all just get anybody to talk basketball. It truly did. That's why I turned it off. Fat I just Joe? Had no how many, how many people they scratch off the list? Bro, Fat to Joe. To, to get to Fat Joe. Come on, <laughs> a lot fam. Of people that so, came. Fat Joe, they ask him, like, the players you like in the draft. No one gives a fuck. He's not a – he's a – he's not even like, – he, he, like – That's a celebrity – celebrity shit. He kept saying – I should have got the clip of this shit. I forgot, but he kept saying, I like Dick. From Kansas, so then, uh, what's his name? Kevin. I can't forget. The, I can't think of his last name. The guy that was with Stephen A. He kept. He basically kept saying, "Grady Dick." Like he had to make it be PG it. for T. Yeah. yeah. And then Fat <laughs> Joe kept saying, "I like Dick from Kansas." He kept saying it like, "Yo," setting the strong hints. What is going hey, on just, here? We're just so childish. When we get down to it, we're all very big childish ass kids. So just I don't know if he was kids. doing that shit on purpose or. He was just really saying it like that, but I thought that was a funny moment. But um, I don't have a bunch of thoughts from the draft. I will say, I think my favorite pick, and it's such a Miami pick, is Old Boy from <laughs> UCLA. He's a fucking hooper, if and the fucking anywhere, NBA let this man go to there. <laughs> if if any other team, my, but like five teams, or obviously Miami took him, you'd be like, what are they doing at like 18 yes. with this pick? But you <laughs> oh, see you Miami, would. and you're like, Okay, bro. When I it's saw right, Miami pick him. Right I said, fit. "Here we go," and he can hoop, and they're gonna bring that shit out of him. Oh my he god, be, he's gonna be solid right away. Like, Very solid in. for Miami. What? He'll get some oh minutes. That shot's bro, gonna come got, along, but he's gonna play yes. hard regardless. He'll you got Jimmy sick. over there. First of all, you got Coach Spo and that whole or, that whole you know front office and coaching staff. So it's like that right there is my favorite pick of the draft. Like, of course, that's where he went. Of course he failed to Pat Riley and Aaron Spolstrom. Like, that is such a Miami pick. Yeah. Like, I couldn't believe it. I really, He's like you blessed. said, if he went anywhere else, it was been like, oh, I don't know about that. But there, mm -hmm. makes sense. It's like, perfect. Yeah, it makes did. so much sense. Do y'all got, got some favorite picks from the draft or y'all really even wait to see type thing? It's like, oh, hey, you are. Julian, you know. Julian Phillips, my favorite pick. Sure. <laughs> They took <laughs> Derrick Jones Jr. 2.0, but they did. That was that was the reports early on. Now they're saying the jump shot looks a little bit better. Uh, Tennessee's offense was, better. yeah. Tennessee's offense hindered him a little bit. He'll be solid. He could have went late first, but he's definitely I'm happy more they of a did wing something. than the forward yeah, that yeah, Jones he's definitely was. Dude, I'm hella I'm athletic. He, I'm gonna rewind real quick about this Derrick Jones. Were you shocked that he opted out? Nah, man. The free agents this uh this offseason. Yeah, I get it. He'll get Who's paid. giving him more than five? I guess he probably won't go to a better team. That's I probably think what it's five. Uh, I thought it was get... like three. Yeah. Five point five, I thought it was he turned around. Was it three? I thought I saw I thought maybe it was maybe three. maybe it might have been three point five. Some I shit like that. But, yeah. But that's probably but maybe he just won't go to a better team. That's the only thing I can think of. If he's getting the same amount of money and he can choose where he wants to go, I don't yeah. blame him. Yeah, yeah, I don't blame him either. I think I was just shocked. Then I was like, you know what? Maybe it made sense for him, you know? Yeah. Yeah, for him. He'll be all right. But uh, all right, that's, Julian, that's all I had to say about that. Go ahead. Yeah, Julian Phillips. Um, I like what I see so far. You know, he's going to play defense. So, got to love that. Second round guy, mm -hmm. just be be able to be on the floor. So, defense is going to get him there. The offense will come along. He's young. Everything that we're hearing is that the offense will be better. It'll get better. He's raw. So I'll take it. Get, you know, they See did something. The, uh, contract they got into up the like... draft. And Which I'm not shocked. Yeah, and the trade's not complete. So they might be doing something else with Washington, moving some other pieces around. So Cause you, know, gotta Washington is, you know, Washington just, you know, they, move, they swapping shit it. like it's a video game. Yep. Just... Moving. <laughs> Dropping cash. Now, I think yeah. I have a feeling I might know who your favorite pick is of the draft, John. Let me see. Let me hear what you got to say. I mean, it's a tough one. I feel like there's a lot of just, like, guys going to places that they should have gone to. Like, mm -hmm. that, that they can true. succeed in, which I really enjoy. a lot enjoy. of good fit picks. Uh-huh. I liked uh, Jairus Walker to the Pacers a lot. Mm -hmm. um, I like Taylor Hendricks to the Jazz a lot. 
Um, what else? Lively, perfect fit to Dallas, perfect. and they perfect got off. They yeah. got hey, off Bertans' contract. Man, man. still got the guy they wanted. <laughs> that's nuts. That's, that's very like, nuts. That was really impressive. Um, we talked about Hawkes, of course. Getting Whitmore at twenty for Houston was Yo. I don't. Like, what, like, okay, first it was the medicals, then it was his personality in the interviews, whatever. How you let yeah. him drop How you let him drop all the way down there? I'm like, Michael Porter Jr. had degenerative back issues and two surgeries, and he still went 15. 15? Yep. Your man could have been in a back brace for the rest of his yeah. life. So a, lot of teams, a, lot, a lot of the teams I passed on him could have used them. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Houston, though. They got yeah. two two ridiculous man. athletes and prospects. So what did Houston do? They got they they are getting some yeah. pieces you can start. They're getting some real good pieces. Those young guys, everybody's yeah, athletic. They're mm-hmm. big down there. Like give them a few years, and, and um, uh, Doka's gonna work that shit out. Yeah, yeah obviously Scoot is. falling to Portland. They gotta be ecstatic about that. Um, do you? I don't want I to still have my that. I still have my comments on that, but we'll see. Okay. I don't, I'm over Fight. this man, but I feel like we can't. He's gonna always come up. I know you. I know y'all know who I'm talking about when I keep saying that man. And Jonah, you're not focusing on your face. I don't know what's happening. Ah, there yeah. we go. We good. There you go. We back. Um, <laughs> but you get you got to be trading him now, right? They just, I just saw before. Chris we came Haynes on, dropped like, another notification. Yep. What did he say? They're building same around thing. him. Yep. The same Bro, thing. That is. It's time to mute Dame. Can we not it's talk about Willard? Stop hey. asking the Portland Trailblazers about Dame. Stop asking Dame about trades at this point. Like, he's not. Phenomenal going position to be in. It's a great issue to have, put it, it that is. way. Is They're awesome? going to have a really fun summer league team to see. Um, yeah, they are. Those teams with the multiple picks are always fun. Um, mm-hmm. How y'all feel about Kobe going to Michigan? Um, going to Michigan. Going to the Hawks. I actually had that mocked on one of the mock drafts I did. Talk your shit. Talk your I shit. Like beep, his, beep, 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 beep. I like his. <laughs> he's just good at basketball. He can do a little bit of everything. Um, and I feel like the Hawks are in such a weird spot. They're just taking a guy that you can kind of mold. Will mm-hmm. be a better option. Um, I think they still have some moves coming. We'll talk about the trade later. Oh yeah! But, oh yeah! Uh, um, one guy or one fit I like was was it Ben Shepard mm-hmm. to what, Indiana, right? Yeah, yeah. I really Just, like him. They went 26. out and got some shooting. They wanted a wing. <laughs> that dude will be solid too, and he's got the clip. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> he's a fun be dangerous. player. Yeah, he's a fun That's player. A good fit for that one. You don't want to talk about your boy. Your boy at 33? Hey, they did exactly what I wanted them to do. <laughs> exactly. exactly. I wanted us to move what? up into that late second or early second range Lenard. and take someone. Um, I mean, a lot of people had him first round for, for sure. Um, others had him lottery on their boards. I mean, he's got a lot of tools to iron out. There's obviously a lot of intriguing stuff there. If you're just trading a two lot. seconds to move up to take him. Uh. We'll take Two it. picks before the Bulls decided to do some shit. That one, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. It's very Leonard bull Miller. of us. I'm very I'm, happy for you, but it's always fun to have uh, a rookie to track too. Always, always. That's good true. So I'm definitely excited about that, especially at a positions of four. Uh, four. You can never have too many forwards on your team. Seems exactly. Like. Um, you can never have too many wings, boy. Especially them long motherfuckers. Like man. <sighs> yeah. Pause. Some ball handling skills, so it's gonna, uh, it's I like, gonna be fun. I like Bates getting picked up by Cleveland. They just took a little shot, and if he can score the ball at all, it's gonna help them because their wing depth was terrible. <sighs> Boo boo! That's what really that killed them. That's what killed them. Definitely got the question marks about him, but oh yeah, like he you got said, big time with that depth, marks. the spots where he could potentially slot in, um, it's a great spot for him. Absolutely. No, I think that is a good spot. Hey, I don't know too much about these uh, Thompson twins. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to lie to you. I didn't watch too many or see too many holidays of the overtime elite. You know what? I didn't, I didn't see too much of the highlights because once you saw they were up there, 
and I was starting to look at other players I was interested in, kind of left it alone. But everything I'm seeing post draft, these guys are legit, solid players, and their personalities. Both of them get a lot of camera time and exposure, cracking mm-hmm. some jokes in these interviews. Like I love it. I haven't been watching each other. Uh, interviews. I haven't been I'm watching say each other. That, uh, league pass is overpriced today. Yeah, talking about uh, Cam Whitmore was top of his big board. Like, shut up! But this is big <laughs> PR, you know. Oh my god, there's some there's some crazy athletes. Like, I'm in Thompson's going to be like a like one of the top athletes in the league in day one. Um, the ball handling traits are really fun. Um. Yeah, I'm excited to see how they do. Are they the same height and size? They're oh super God. similar. Yeah, yeah they're like six seven. Amends more of the, seven, yeah. the the point guard, while Asar is predicted to more be more of a point forward. But it's some fun skill sets to work with. Um, just some twins casually going in the top five. Like if yeah. if 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 t- if these players, if these players start really flourishing coming like like go from like these what the G the League leagues. teams the yeah. leagues college is gonna be fucked G League you is know? definitely looking reputable that's for sure <laughs> yeah I just saw yeah. somebody else uh it's gonna be to them they, like they're gonna be a fucked, top bro. guy for 2024 these guys are going the number I mean, one place to be college is gonna I be think... fucked as far as like top players but that's yeah. what you really want in college so it's like it can if get these tricky twins too. Come from this overtime elite, and then wasn't Scoop there or someone like that too? And Scoop then you got like G League, G League player. You got these G League. First of all, G League player went third. You know how insane that is. He's legit. Jalen Jalen Green was uh second. Was he third or fourth pick? A couple well, years back, the top five is only one player that went to college. Brandon Miller, That's pretty crazy. There's other ways to get to the league, kids. If because they gonna two, if they gonna the have, seven. If, if they gonna try to right, if they gonna try to gatekeep how you get to the NBA, all people are gonna do is find other ways, like they're doing. And yeah. if they succeed <laughs> and and you get drafted, that's that's task number one to get drafted high. If you can make to the lottery, you already ahead of the curve. Now if you can get to the league and be something. Do you know how many? People are going to start saying "fuck college." Top players. I mean, we talked about uh, Pajemski at Santa Clara at making his transfer, and he yep. went nineteenth. Nineteenth. He was even playing Warriors, last year. Right? Wasn't even playing. No, that's crazy. Not at all. Mm-hmm. You just got to find your spot. You got to find your you little do. angle. That's all you have to do. You find. Shout like, out Jason Preston. And, and college don't college <laughs> don't really like we talked about. College don't really they don't really develop these dudes. No, they, college no. coaches don't want to. They don't want to go to the new style of coaching. You got to do all this shit. You they do more in high school than they do in college. So it's like let these guys go play other places. I feel like the context with the guys that end up going to the higher majors and the blue bloods almost get it a little more skewed because let's say you're your third, second, third option on a team, you might not be playing how you exactly want to or. It, it's so tricky to gauge some of those players or they just pick up straight up talent and it's like, oh, this team had mm-hmm. terrible fits. So that was like uh, Arkansas this year. They had no spacing whatsoever, but they had so many good players. They, they had so many good out. players. But then you look in the top 10 and Jairus Walker went to Houston, which is in the American. Hendricks <laughs> went to UCF, which is in the American Conference. Um, it, I, I like the I like the options for at least the pro development. Um probably won't reach the level of parity across the board because it's mm-hmm. leaning more mm-hmm. towards guys moving up. Yeah. Um, but for a prospect development, it's, 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 it's great. Yeah, yeah man, talk- I agree. <laughs> My fault was reading. To- <laughs> I was, <laughs> I was reading like, Oh, I missed that. Honestly, I thought you were My fault. going. No, I, 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 thought, about I the, thought you um, were too. He just, and he just stopped <laughs> on me. I'm like, Oh shit. Hurry up, we get talk, in there. We talked alert, about alert. the, um... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. No, Jordan just definitely just stopped talking. He was like, Hurt? my bad, bro. You should be going. I've been taking your information in. Today, man. I've been taking your now, info as, in. Uh, <laughs> as far as uh, player development <clears throat> before the league, you can get it so many different places. You are going to get it in college. These OTE guys are still getting better, even though. We're not seeing it because I barely see any of that coverage. Uh, the G League guys you see, um, but 
Where are y'all watching long- these games? Besides Which NBA ones? TV. OTE like games. OTE games are all on Twitter their clips. YouTube. <laughs> they have full games on their YouTube. Oh God, I gotta follow their YouTube. Um. <laughs> Jesus but with, I mean that's nice because it's it's free. Um, yeah, yeah, G League right, games. I would just find. I'd literally look up G League Ignite full game on YouTube, and it would give me. It. Okay. So, I don't know what's it, the. It, it it can get tricky to find every game, or you, you kind of got to pick and choose. But yeah. I mean, Jeez. I'm not watching every game to to scout. Hell no! I'm every, getting like two, three games in, and moving on yeah. to the next game. Yeah, I'm good. No, I'm, I'm straight but, on that. I mean. Even Scoop played two years in Ignite too, and I mean Leonard Miller last year had potential first term buzz, but he went to Ignite as well this year to iron out some traits. Um, we were just talking about the Ignite town too. They have Ron Holland, who is he's he's pretty damn close to being consensus number one across the boards for high school boards. So Ron I mean, they Holland, both, yeah. So you check him out. Ron, okay. Um, okay, right. I was like, oh, shit. I'm gonna have to figure out um, who these people are. Shit. Mata Zellis, too, is going next year. I think he's Ron a Chicago Holland area kid, actually. From Duncanville, Texas. Are we doing 2024 mock drafts already? <laughs> this is what it looks like. <laughs> Let's see. Hey, all he I know is 2025. To... Sign me up for uh, uh, Boozer's son. He's oh, stamped, yeah. He's oh, stamped yeah. at number one for me already. <laughs> oh, easy. Yeah, hey, I don't really always get hyped up off highlights, but listen. <laughs> Them young men, or that young man. Yeah. So, look, it gigantic. says professional committed for this Ron Holland. What the hell does that mean? That's just, they just throw the, that tag on it. Because it got uh, Arkansas, Kentucky, Memphis. He almost went to Texas. Arkansas. Because he was committed to Texas, but then Chris Beard was fired, who he committed to, and he decommitted. Oh. So he had like a late process scramble kind of thing, and Ignite I slid you. in, and I gave you. him a little compensation. Yeah, yeah, he's going to be 6'8", <laughs> six, eight, right. See, 6'8", 195. But like... Man, these kids. The alternate... I mean, we even see guys going over... We saw LaMelo go to play overseas. Overseas, yeah. He did play overseas. You know the thing I miss? So, I kind of like following a player. Because, like, when they go overseas or they go, like, to the G League or these the other leagues, it's like you – you if you're not watching them, it's like you don't – you're missing, like, a growth period. Now you got to, like – yeah. You forget it, or you have to rely on highlights. And sometimes highlights can – you can edit that shit how you want to edit it. Oh, Absolutely. It. So if you like, show you know, a Lance Stevenson highlight tape to someone who doesn't watch ball, they'd think he's the greatest player ever. Right, he's the greatest player ever. Right, yeah. the greatest player ever. <laughs> Goated. Goated. You know what I'm saying? So it's like <laughs> you miss – when you, you miss that player going to college for you, like you get to grow with them. So it's like I use I use Melo, for instance. Like we grew with Melo. We saw him at Oak Hill. He played a year at Syracuse. So it's like, yo, he won. Now he's going to the draft. So it's like you got players – you just don't see for you. Like, LaMelo, we didn't see him. Like, if you was watching, if you was YouTube or however the hell you was watching the game from overseas, deep. you had to dig deep to, go, to do that. So it's like, you, we missed a whole year of LaMelo to actually know if he is the guy to be getting drafted. So I don't know. I, don't know I mean, there was concerns selfish. with his shot, and now he's yeah. shooting like 40% from three. So yeah. he's taking eight threes a game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. exactly. So it's like, it's like, I just missed, I that's the one thing I miss. It's like, you're not gonna always get to see everybody grow up. Like I'm kind of, it's kind of cool to see Bronny. We get to see him playing college ball. USC um, going, is gonna get so much TV time. Yeah, so oh, much. Yeah. Oh my god, y'all see, bro! Y'all USC see gonna be Bronny t- at the gym. Get the fuck out of here! No, somebody already got the fake, the fake Bronny jersey. The hair, oh, boy. Yeah, yeah. And then that's already. a wild place. <sighs> a wild I'm place sorry. out there, man. I feel. I feel. The antics, anyway. The antics so are, it. the antics are big, and who your dad is. So the antics, oh my god, yo, I'm thinking about how all the shit people used to say to JJ Reddick. JJ Reddick, outside of Christian Leonard, might be the most hated college player I've ever seen live. He said like, a what? just crazy basketball career. Yes, because he played now, his best ages. His best years are probably post thirty. Oh, yeah. absolutely, with the Clippers. Yeah. 
Mm, yeah. He got busy with the Magic, but he got busy with the Clippers. Like, he, that was like match made to heaven for him. Spot. That was definitely. He talked about, like, how that. He wasn't even. He was supposed to go to Minnesota, I think he said. Mm, yeah. And somehow, some way, he had linked up with Doc. That's how he ended with the Clippers. We got Christian Layton, though. We good over here. Huh? We got Christian Layton, though. We good. I ain't got to worry about that. <laughs> Oh, I was Man. not expecting to. I was not expecting to say that. But Man. I was going to say, Damn. like Bronny, I wonder where Bronny's going to get in the college crowd. Oh my god! It's, oh, the hate's going to be. That's one of the most LeBron. It's one of the these most 18, fun 19 things year olds. with the prospects is looking at where people rank these guys based off their high school stature. Is their game translatable to the NBA? Obviously, if you have a guy who's just like a pure athlete mm-hmm. running dunk. Yeah, um, they're not gonna fare as well. Um, no. you, you really gotta lean into the. It's fun to see the people's like way too early big boards, and then see what it's like at the end of the year. You have guys come out of nowhere, like yeah. Koulibaly with playing with Wemby. I don't even think any. Where he go to I the Pacers? See. Yeah, or he went to the Wizards. Wizards, Wizards, Wizards. Okay. Yeah. Was it a trade? Yeah, they moved up one spot. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Must have really wanted them, I guess. Must have. One spot. Must have. One mm-hmm. spot tells me, like, this person was high on your board. You have to have yeah. them. Yeah. Because you don't know. That's the that's the one thing about a gym. You don't know if this team really is bluffing or if they're actually going to get them. And then I you can't just... even imagine. <laughs> that sounds Not like chaos. Of, yeah. I mean, we that sounds, head, that sounds like a headache. Imagine like, in the trenches during that. Uh, GMs no. always say when they're interviewed or whatever, the off season is always the most difficult part of their job because they're grinding. Once they get grinding, to a regular you season, obviously drive. you're obviously you're working, but the players are doing the work. You as you you line this up um, mm-hmm. to where, man, like I don't are these guys getting sleep prior you gotta to the figure draft? out these players' value. Then you got to go into free agency. You got to. Re- Figure out these people value how much you want to spend. What can you spend? What do you need versus what you want? It's too much, bro. At least they got a board of people, but like at least in basketball, you only need like twelve players. Football, <laughs> oh, fam, no, baseball, you, you got to do a whole twenty-five and then a minor league. Mm-hmm. A fifty-three. It's crazy. No, thank you. I'm straight on that. It's crazy. Football got to be aggravating. Oh God, watching hard knocks and shit like that. God Jesus bless Christ. the people that can uh, do draft scouting for the NFL draft because all them players. I don't know how that's a lot of players. Anybody all them fucking positions trying to read someone's potential. Good luck. Oh, I can't yeah. do it. Uh, uh, eighteen to twenty-one year old, and you gotta figure out if this is who we should pick for our future. One thing that you gotta decipher with these players, though, and gets really lost in the mix is. Players that are good prospects that might not end up being good players. Mm-hmm. You can be a phenomenal prospect and still not be have a good career. Like you can mm-hmm. be a bust and Nick and because like, oh, the, the NBA the yeah. NBA just not for you. You might the have to go overseas. It's always crazy on the draft. Yeah, very much so. Yeah, it is because yeah, it is. You just never know. Hype Football is very league, wild. Though. Football is very wild. You never know. Motherfucker be out the league in three years. <sighs> You don't even know where he is and where he at no Best more. running back in the league and then you're gone in two years. Yes. Dang, Canada. Oh, man. <laughs> just gone. Like, you don't know where is he? Where's the dude? The white dude from the Cleveland Browns. Johnny Manziel. No, no, What's, no, no, no. Uh, the running Peyton, back. Peyton Hillis. Peyton oh, Hillis. Peyton Hillis? That man got on a Madden cover. Hey, That's shout out to Todd curse, Gurley. And That's the curse. That's the curse, too. What's the curse, too? If you're the on cover? a Madden cover the next year, you get Is hurt. that still a thing? I think there's been a couple, uh, a couple, couple switch by, back, but, but it was putting up numbers for a minute. I was say, it was no, 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 it was putting up numbers. <laughs> I think Brady on this last one, he skated through. Lamar skated through. I don't uh, want to cover. Mahomes. I can't last time I bought him at nah, Mah- I, Mah- I, I just yeah, Mahomes skated through. I think nah, I think Josh Hill, not Josh Hill. No, there was Josh some like, Allen egregious guys in there though. 
Yeah, like it was some y'all not lying though. It was doing numbers with the curse. Like it was like fuck. I don't want to be on that shit. That volatility. That's some. <laughs> that's one thing you see with these players is if a guy is not good and they don't see that you're not getting your team option picked up. On oh your hell no! Quick. They were real quick with it now. With those I mean, good. roster spots, you gotta. No, you got to. That's man. too much you young be... talent coming in every no, year. No, way too much young talent for you to be fucking around with that shit. Way that too expansion, much, expansion, man. No, you can't be doing that. Hey, shout out oh. to the extra two way spot though. There'll be some guys that's that love. get it. That it's is love. Super love this year. We will, we will give them that. That's we love. We see so many success sure. stories with guys too. Why not? Why Again, not? Just expansion waiting on it but mm-hmm. that's too much talent is, absolutely is uh yo this dude sound like he got his head on the shoulder victor how you say his last name when when Yana. Yana. yeah man i think you think that man really is a got pro the one? already that <laughs> man is a Look, pro i i know it was it was all jokes but i might be having i, was, I kept saying it's curtains for the league of if they if the spurs get them in the spurs in the Getting the first pick, they end up getting this dude, and I, bro, there's no way of bullshitting some of these answers, man. No. Nah, Mm-mm. he's hey, got that that Giannis in him. Where when you've been a pro for four years already, that that'll that'll happen. No, when yeah, he's gonna he's gonna difference. be a a likable guy too. And I'm and I'm glad to see that he said he's not gonna be doing playing with France and FIBA. He's not gonna play with the national team until Spain for the Olympics. He wants to just focus on the Spurs, which I respect. I hope nobody I haven't seen. I'm pretty sure there's people on the damn internet giving pushback or saying some crazy shit about Always. it. But I think that's the perfect thing for him to do. It's, this is this this was his dream, so he's gonna focus on this. He's and he don't have time to be trying to go do this and play for France right now. He ain't got. He time was playing. He was playing with his team two weeks ago too. So. Yeah. So yeah. Let that man. It's just no. Do his and thing. when you're seven foot four, you know, like give your bones a rest. Yes, he has to. man. Please, tall ass. I know y'all saw the photo, man. Listen, they used to call <laughs> Tim Duncan and Darren Robinson the Twin Towers. Did y'all see that shit? He made them look small. Tim Duncan was in the foreground of the picture, and he still had like three inches on him. Yes, that it doesn't was, make he was sense. in the fore. Now that you said he was in the foreground, he was like, closer to pick- the cave. Yes, like they, he was turned, bro. What? I can't imagine. He made Manu Ginobili look like a little ass kid. <laughs> Right, looking down on these people like <laughs> they were the twin just, towers, and this man has got inches over them. Not like it's like this. He has inches. Yeah. Wow. It's, it's crazy. But also, all the greatness in that picture. How the hell did y'all just come together? That was a dope at the picture. right time. Like that was dope. That was very dope. I, Someone I, said, "How the Spurs uh, get three first three generational big men, and they're all dorks." I'm like, come on, man. They're all dorks for real. Someone said, uh, if they went to, or if Wemby went I to don't Charlotte. Think, honestly, I don't think Tim Duncan is one. I, I, I really Tim don't Duncan think. Tim Duncan is what? a chill-ass The stories I've heard about him, like, on the court, I don't think he really is. That's just, just a chill-ass dude. Yeah, he a chill-ass dude. Now, David Robinson? Oh, yeah. That might Point. be a different story. But I don't think Hello. Tim Duncan really is. I think Tim Duncan got some, got some shit in him. He's from the islands, man. He Caribbean. He's hey, supposed don't to. Forget that. Yeah, don't, forget, don't forget that. Don't forget that. He was showing up in his sandals to pick up his awards. <laughs> right. <laughs> he looked so cool, man. I like Tim Duncan, man. He looks... Does he work with the organization still? I think he's like an advisor. I yeah, that's yeah he's still over that's, there. That's you gotta dope, keep man. him in there. Yeah, Absolutely. I wish they were able to keep Becky Hammond in there. Go back and she get her, her thing. Go back and get her. When Pop leave, go back and get her. That's her job. That's her I job. I don't want to see anybody else. I no, wouldn't be I surprised. Think, I think you day. have to go get her. From the... From the Aces when Pop is done. We're going to revisit this. What's today's date? June 26, 2023. We're going to revisit. I don't know how many more years Pop got. Three? Pop could be around for one more year or 10 years. I literally don't yeah, know. I don't know. We're talking about him signing an extension if you wanted to. So, Well, yeah, Pop can do what he want to do. Wrong. Pop can do yeah. what he want. He has that. Pop can do what he wants. It's his it is crazy, though. They got three generational big men. Yeah. You go from David Robinson to Tim Duncan, have them at the same time. Then you go on this crazy ass run. With it's yeah, not like the Spurs was terrible in the nineties; they were good. Which everybody just don't Sean win. Elliot getting buckets. Yeah, they were just they were good. 
Then you go get Tim Duncan. They go on a run. They win five in what? 12 years? Five and 12, some shit? Some nut ass. Something. Some nut yep. crazy shit. And then mm. you're still not bad, but then you just hit this floor. As a smart organization do it, it wasn't like, oh, yeah, the Spurs are tanking. The Spurs were just doing this shit right. We're going to trade this. We're going to trade that. We're yeah, going to play young so dudes. We know we're going to yep. be bad. And guess what? Our last final piece, we're going to trade Murray to the Hawks. We're going to be even worse now. Because if, like if they didn't make the that trade. They've been picking up, though. If, if, they didn't, if they didn't trade Murray to the Hawks, there's no way they'd have been that bad. That was peak value, too. Oh, my mm-hmm. God. Peak. Because na- mm-hmm. one year and now the trade package does not look that good for DJ. No, no, no. Especially no. when he was the number one option in San Antonio there. He was. He was he getting hella wanted. triple doubles. He was. Everybody was thought, yeah. You got fantasy goods. Build around DJ. <laughs> <laughs> Build around him. Hey, them Hawks still got to be. Build around him. We're gonna get, we'll get there. But uh, any more draft stuff for y'all? Do it, is the draft boring? Do we got to actually sit and watch the whole damn thing? Do we have to do that? I fell asleep at pick 47. Oh, you I made it for Holy I shit. almost made it. That is yeah. impressive. <laughs> That's impressive. You sat there through that? Yep. No way. I was just hoping the Bulls were going to do something. No way, bro. And then it once they something. did, I was no up. I was too damn excited. I, was, I had to go to sleep after that shit. <laughs> There's no way I could have did that. Nah, no, I should have went to sleep. There's no way. I see clips, but I don't think it's really... After you get past... Shit. Once you get past, like, 20, it's probably people cutting out before that. But if you're not at a oh, bar yeah. with your friends... Like, if we're not at the bar watching that shit together, I can tell you for a fact I'm changing the channel fast. After the so thing long. about it is, like... I'm ex- I'm gonna keep track of it, but I could care less about like watching. It's like the broadcast; they're gonna be doing so many other things. They're so showing much yeah. other shit. We shit got a guy drafted at 53 during a manscaped ad. Like, what are we doing? <laughs> yeah. I was yeah, wondering who's gonna get drafted during the Taco Bell ad. This yeah, year. always something. Just, <laughs> always something. I feel like it's not. It's not. I used to love to watch the whole NBA draft and the whole NFL draft, and I just don't have that in me no more. I don't know if it's because I'm older or. ESPN just be be doing bullshit, like, you, or they have people on there that I feel like just don't know the hell they're talking about, or they don't really do the research. They got people they in their ears telling shit right. to them, and then they just freestyle. I think it's they a combination. Do. Like, like you're right. ESPN is gonna have a couple clowns up there. They're gonna say some things that they shouldn't say. The interviews are gonna be a little dry, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, what you gonna do? It's ESPN. That's and once they start losing some yeah. viewers, they'll bring it back and start talking yeah. about the lottery and also, again. And... Once your team is done, then you check out. Like if you're oh, waiting absolutely. to pick 52 because that's the only one and you geeked up, like you're going to wait up until fit- pick and That's 52. probably why this year I wasn't really like locked in because my favorite team didn't even got a pick in the in the first round. So I ain't, and I really don't expect the Bulls to do no jumping into the second round. Like that is is insane. But I will say, I don't know if you listen to the uh, press conference, but I don't know. They they press conference did not leave me with any confidence about I what the Bulls, some, what the Bulls are going to be doing. Like, <laughs> I saw some quotes. How confidence. do you still don't know how you feel or what direction you're going in with Vuk? You see they felt Your fine answers. about giving up 11 for him. They're actually yeah. worried about it. Yeah, we feel good about that trade. That trade worked out for us, bro. Like, listen, don't lie. Don't go up there and lie to us like that. At least be a little vague. Come on, now. come on, man. Sometimes things don't Damn. work. You know, like we, we feel went, like he we valued him. Blah blah. blah. Like word it off better. What did we do? We went from what? <laughs> were we the six seed? We weren't a playing team last year, right? We played the Bucks, but we weren't a playoff playing team. Might have been Bro. like the nine seed. I want to say. We were we in the play in last year? Think so. Yeah. Yeah. Played my uh played Miami. No, this season yeah. we played we played Miami last year too? No. Nah. Oh, we're talking last year. Yeah, last year when we played the Bucks. Last year. We were the six seed, right? We might have right. got that six seed. So, so all I'm saying is we went from that 
to a play in, you cannot feel good about give that trade. No way possible. Especially when you know what the fans are feeling. And we can't play everything I hope, on. I hope he on. We, no, he acknowledged, like, I hear it. We got to do better. Well, then do better, bro. Just man. be aggressive. Take a that swing. Just I don't, don't, I don't, don't want to get you hot. Can't, yeah, you can't get, get the job, come out swinging, and then for two years, do the bare minimum. Bring Bear, us Tristan fucking, Thompson, but, Boring but, Dragic, but I will say Pat Bev. No, there's no bus right now. No, no, no. This uh, is what I'm saying. these weak ass motherfuckers. Everybody right. weak. But this is all, all I'm about to say <laughs> is this. Like I said before, this is how the White Sox are ran. Oh, if you, yeah. If you're a Sox <laughs> fan, you want to see how the Sox are ran, look at the Bulls and vice versa. Yo, I was at the Sox game on Sunday just talking mad shit. <laughs> Oh, it, was good time. it was a good time. It was a good time. Oh my time. god! You know, I was with a Sox fan. He didn't, you know, care too much. But like, we were just comparing the franchises and how Jerry ass is just not the guy. And then like, is Lil Jerry gonna do it or whatever his name is? Lil Reinsdorf is he gonna be any no. better? Hell no. Nah. So no, he's not. If we want to segue right into trades from that, let's go right, into, right into him. Who do you want to start with? Who I was just the want to talk who? about the uh, pool and. Pool for CP3 trade because obviously is this on like you can respect that the Warriors despite they've had some like suspect things with their rookie development mm-hmm. and I I like that they they're trying to go all out to maximize whatever they have going on mm-hmm. you can respect that when you have a superstar on your team yeah yeah um, no facts obviously landing a superstar is easier said than done but um just that, that kind is... of motto of especially with you see how gm 10 years ago it's like it's not gonna put you back crazy far enough to where you can still dabble around and i mean clear if they're looking to clear up some money to get draymond back that's a core part of their identity defense everything mm-hmm. um and teams will want him Ooh, uh, Draymond? We already saw some. Re- we already saw some reports about the Kings, but I mean, the Kings opened up. Draymond, Draymond. Pistons, yeah, Pistons. Oh yeah, I saw the. I saw Memphis was thinking about that before they traded for Marcus Smart. Yep. I mean, teams will want that, and who we're gonna he, talk about he, in a little while. Them timelines are tough, so. Uh, that was nuts, though. I wasn't really. I couldn't. We. It was. I mean, we talked about it. We thought that they were gonna move pool. But, but for, not for at least Chris try. Paul. Y'all but wasn't that Chris wasn't Paul? a trade. That wasn't a trade we was thinking. I don't think nobody was Chris. I was thinking like this was what I was thinking like, man, until he started doing interviews about it and no one came out and said that. I was like, Joe, are they really gonna just trade him? Like maybe are they gonna buy out Chris Paul? But I'm like, no, they're not, because they're doing he's doing interviews talking about it. He said some wild shit today. He said me and me and Steph know each other for a while, and I'm going to find it. I'm going to find it. I don't Boy, care how long y'all known each other no, for. No, no, no. This is a stupid-ass ass quote. This is the dumbest quote he could have did. Somebody had to tell him, <laughs> like, bro, that was dumb. But I, I, I really thought they was going to buy him out. I don't know how y'all felt about that. I thought they was going to buy him out because that – it was so far fetched, like no way. To, hey, no if he got way. moved to another team, I had not expected to be Golden State. No, yeah, no, no, at no. all. No, no, hell no. That was not. I, I'm, I'm fascinated to see what that these lineups are going to look for them. Little um, ass team. I mean, he's got to be coming off the bench. You can't start that man, bro. That's what I was thinking. I for sure. I don't be. like. He's going to be operating it? with Clay. In that second unit and trying to get clay open shots. While hey, if you had Curry's Chris Paul bench. playing thirty minutes of consistent l- lower usage ball off your bench, it can make a little more sense. Like you traded him but, for, you traded your six man for some. So I guess he's going to replace him, right? When he when he re- be replacing Chris Paul on the bench, I just don't know how this. Essentially, shit works. I mean. I don't they get... slid pool all over the place last year. Yeah, they, they started did. for he a was... while, and then they moved him back, and then we saw the playoffs where it was like he was all over. The floor. Yeah, <laughs> I don't get oh. not moving Kaminga if you're going all in right now. The draft was a perfect time to make a move. I it heard was. Indiana was uh, interested in him at seven. Even though you get another rookie, you can get another posi- or another piece that fits better than Kaminga. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, still got to see what they're about to do. I don't really get this CP3 trade. I get it. He's a nice another piece. But even win now, does it move anything? Does it? They lost 20 points per game. That's I've a been big number. Off, uh, didn't Draymond say he didn't like Chris be, uh... Paul before, too? This is a Draymond doesn't like anyone. That's true. He doesn't, yeah. This, this Draymond changes his mind every two minutes. He likes the Warriors and LeBron. That's <laughs> yes, true. He was on, Chris Paul was Simple on man. ESPN. He was on NBA Today talking to Malika. He said, me and Steph have known each other a long time. My wife was at his wedding. This is the funny line right here. I think him and his wife was at our wedding. I'm excited to get a chance to play alongside him. What, the f- what do you mean? What do you mean? You think? I think they were at my wedding. Man, he probably had like three thousand people there. He's good for it. Get this shit out of here, man. I don't know nah, how this shit's gonna work. That's a uh, Chris that's Paul. Where it's like you gotta say something, and he, he didn't do. have shit to say. He had nothing to say, bro. He was like, "Oh, we was at that one party that one time together," and he was like, "He seemed okay." Bro, he had nothing to say. <laughs> and it's like, what's the dynamic with Chris Paul and Steve Kerr? What's, oh, God, it's just, it's just so <laughs> much. See, they asked one him about the funny. clip. One, one shit, shit funny. One shit funny. funny. <laughs> I don't know. This is a dumbass uh, trade. I don't know how the Warriors lose to the Lakers, and we're going to re reconfigure some shit, and it's what you do. You get smaller. Enough, uh Pool's contract could definitely be a thing for the future. Oh yeah, that could definitely. Yeah, that, that could, was, that's huge. I can, I give him that. That's big. That's big time to that's get that motivation. Um, yeah. I mean, he was punched in the face. That might be a factor. Um, <laughs> I mean, looking at it, the young talent wasn't crazy. They held on to Moody, and we talked about that shit. But he kept saying, "If the Kuminga. Warriors the young players," and they gave up Baldwin Jr. and. Was it even the young players the reason they won the finals? No. So it's like, why y'all keep holding on to them like that? I Get think something for if them. They were gonna hold on to any. I mean, I don't even know what the stock's even looking like right now. Yeah, it can't but... be booming. If no, they were to get rid of one, you're... it was for sure gonna be Wiseman because he just does not fit the flow. But... No. Mm-hmm. It's past Still, that. Even pennies on the dollar there. Even now, like I would just keep Moody because his his shooting. Mm-hmm. Kaminga can go and let somebody try to build up all his potential and reason why he was what six, seven pick, whatever. You, you can't. It's hard to find shooting, but one thing you can find is somebody that does what Kaminga does. Mm-hmm. For sure, you can find us. You can find you somebody to run the court, play a little defense, catch some lobs, do some rebounds, put it back. But one thing you can't find everywhere is a motherfucking shooter. That's where everybody. Be, that's why the Bulls are still searching. For that, hey, we can find we can we can find we can find wing players. We can find somebody to be jumping out the gym. We can find that. That's but, hey, for every one shooter, there's like five Nas Littles. Yes, yes, you can always find no that. Shade. So, no so shade that's, to Nas Littles. That's for, uh, but we got what you meant. But yeah, I don't know what to do. And this is always my question when it comes to trade like this. Does this move the needle? Does this help the Warriors do anything? I don't. That's the thing is I don't think of them coming in the season like. Obviously, I think high of them because they're the Warriors. They have mm-hmm. their players. They are. They have Curry. They have good players. They're always going to do their thing. But when you get to the point of what do they have to add to take them seriously as a contender, it has to be a lot. Obviously, we talked about mm-hmm. them being tiny. Um, it's just like. Yeah, maybe this can make some sense, but it's just kind of a little refresh. I think it the is. Warriors, I think for anybody who, who looks at the Warriors, I feel like if you if you didn't think there was a contender before this trade and going into this season, no matter what it did in in the draft or free agency, this trade wasn't going to make you feel, believe they were a contender. If you already thought they was a contender going into the season – you still think they're a contender going into the season, I feel like. So it's like, it's not going to make you swing. I don't think it's going to make – I don't think what this trade did, I don't think it's going to make you swing either way. For me, I didn't think they were – I think they were going to be fun. They were going to be good. But I don't think they were a contender to win. And now, adding Chris Paul 
It's like, I don't think so. And is this trade, of course, yes, getting un- from under pool money? And are they thinking ahead to next summer where we're going to have Clay be a free mm-hmm. agent? Definitely like, more confusing than Draymond in my eyes. Yeah, so it's yeah. like, so I it, it, I know it come off maybe feeling like, because I said in the group chat, like, damn, did they pick Draymond over a pool? But it's like, damn, are they just really picking Clay over pool? That's like, a good point. Because if you keep um, pool on the books and you resign Draymond, what is your money going to look like for Clay next summer? You know what I'm saying? You don't want to fuck that a. up. You don't want to fuck that up. CBA? Yeah, you don't want to be going to the to the uh, to the table with Clay and lowball him. And we know nah. how petty his ass. He he's out. He'll he's go to LA leave. too quick. Yeah, he's gonna I leave. Think Chris Paul <laughs> has a uh, a team option next year too, so they could completely get off the money if it goes poorly. Oh um, shit! Yeah. Which is like, would you? I mean, if Poole had a really solid season with the Wizards, I wouldn't be surprised. Um, he's going to get a lot of, op- a lot of looks, a lot of options oh, yeah. to get in his rhythm of things. Um, it was just, it is, it, it, it made sense for them to move on. It's just what it was. It was going to be hard to rebuild kind mm-hmm. of his role. And I mean, the relationships, oh, the assets, yeah. man, he's, he was, it was him and the youngins. So you look, probably look to trade him if they were looking to get anything. Um, do you think, do either one of you think, if if he has a crazy nuts ass first half, they're gonna trade him. <laughs> Maybe you gotta see what, the, me. what they Cause do. Cause yeah. they, Cause they still gotta figure out fault. Kuzma. They bring him back. Oh, What's the yeah. team they're trying to put together even look like to tank to build whatever? Yeah, you can see him going off. He might get moved because, I mean, he is a twenty point per game score, twenty he plus. Is. No, he is. And like you said, it's all depending on what the Wizards are going to be doing. It's crazy that it's been five. It's going to be five years already that he that Clay signed his contract. Yo, Clay going to be thirty four next summer. Yeah. Damn. Pretty crazy. He going to make forty three million dollars this year. So mm-hmm. you had to. So it's tough. Money if to you get the guys you around. Had to, you had to get. You had to get pool. Um contract off your books because I feel like they gave him that and it was like if he really is like that dude Clay <laughs> we can let go of Clay but he showed you he just showed you like he can't he's not that guy you know what I'm saying so we're gonna I see I, I think know. there's gonna I be think, some more moves but yeah and I think they'll bring back Clay. It'll be a lower dollar amount, but I think he'll be a warrior for life. You want to keep that shooting around regardless. You got to. Uh, defense so. will slip, but he's a lifer for me. I don't want to see him in any other jersey. I yeah. I feel Yeah, that. that's how it be for but I feel like at this point it bothers me. I don't care it's, who you are. It's still it a business. Me. Yeah. It bothers you what? That people will leave their team? Why was Tony Parker wearing a fucking Hornets jersey? Oh, that, that was, was just insane. a bad yeah. But he's a he's a he's not the greatest person in the world, but we did hear some stuff about him and DeJounte <laughs> beefing too. Yeah. Uh Tony Parker got to a lot of people I've seen, I've noticed. Oh yeah. I still don't understand why he got a documentary. I don't think it was warranted of that. We got I think I don't know why I watched that. I don't know why. I yeah, wasted my time. The, I started a little bit I don't think everybody everybody does not deserve a documentary. I don't think. Nah, Tony Parker deserve one? Many. I don't know. Maybe I'm hating. Getting maybe jealous. Am I hating? He, I mean, just because someone makes a movie doesn't mean we have to watch it. It's for somebody. Netflix. If it's good I'm sure it went crazy in France. Like, oh, you already know. You can definitely yeah, know. That's probably. I just, that's don't, probably I just don't do subtitles personally. So, I that's just across the board. You not you not a, you not a uh, you not a a kung fu watcher. You don't watch. You can't do <laughs> that. Nah, man. You can't do. You like, like, watch. Like, like, you can't do that? Nah, nah, I can't do it. Not not, for that. Can't do that, huh? I love karate movies. I watched Blood Sport last week. Can you just do that again though? So we nah. got a, a good clip of it? No, uh, no. Gotta get up I know what both the... of you are on. I already know. <laughs> but Jonah he gonna does. find a way to do he gonna find a way to fuck with it. I already know. I already <laughs> he hey, gonna find a way. Let me get some Dude. sleep. Um Let me think about it. I know you are. I think you're gonna come up with something. I already know. But uh <laughs> Who else, who else got traded? Oh, yeah. I'm, we're smart, done about we, we done smart with Smart to the, Memphis? Yeah, Smart to Memphis. 
I was sleep on this that. Whole, That's what I woke up to. Saga was fucking. That's what I woke up to because I woke up to Jonah having, I think he said wow or eyeball emote, something. I didn't know what he was I'm talking like, about. So I had to go to, oh, I, yeah, knew, I, knew, I knew it. I knew it had to be a trade or something. I said, oh, Marcus Smart went to, to the Grizzlies. So the whole thing, the first trade just went down because the Clippers had cold feet about Brogdon. That's what I heard. Uh, his, uh, his medicals, yeah, got oh, looking at flag, but he couldn't pass a physical. So, what happened? What's up with people with these physicals, man? I mean, he's always I think had he injury surgery, issues, right? Hey, I know he hurt his forearm or something like that in the playoffs. Yeah. Oh, um, you can't be trying to trade nobody who had no damn injury. No way. Yeah, I mean, but the crazy thing the is, we had tried to port- get that shit off. <laughs> we had the Porzingis <laughs> deadline. Within hours, we had this trade falling apart, mm-hmm. and I mean, it's crazy that a nine-year, tenured player, a player I wouldn't think I would see in a different jersey than Boston for a yeah. while, at least, <laughs> get moved. Yo, Boston is shysty because he privilege. should have been another guy who just stayed there. White privilege. We talk about Isaiah Boston. Thomas getting Boston dogged. just think they can do what the fuck they want to do. Boston gonna try to trade Damn. a player who needs surgery and shit. It's just they're doing the players a little dirty. For a historic franchise, you expect better. Why? They called Bill Russell the hard ER while he was winning championships. <laughs> That's the fans, man. I, I, Boston I, sports different. Yeah. I don't see no I don't take nothing. Nothing goes past Boston, bro. Don't Nobody. tell me Brad Stevens racist. I don't need to hear that today. I can't. My heart can't take that today. <laughs> no, I don't. Don't even question it, bro. No, I'm not gonna do that to you. I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> I already got people on YouTube <laughs> calling me a racist when I didn't do nothing racist. This is true. <laughs> nah, we lo- we love everybody on this. Podcast. I want y'all to know. I talk shit about Boston. Okay, I know it's racist people everywhere, but Boston hey, just, just go has on, a lot. Go of on it. the internet, and Boston's not getting a good rep. Yeah, Boston. Not, it's uh, not just I'm, us. Yeah, it's not an anomaly just us. here. But I'm actually shocked that Porzingis. What does Porzingis do for Boston, and what does Smart do for Memphis? Yo, Porzingis in Boston, I love it. Really, I love it. Y'all yeah, love I, it. I'm not gonna lie another, to you. I'm still thinking about this. I have no idea how I feel about it. Yo, give him another weapon. Someone who's tall, who can score. Actually, Horford, Williams. But can't sure, Porzingis like, score, Bruh. He was really can, solid last year. Yeah. Yeah. He might be yeah. the guy who loses his points per game, goes down a little bit, but don't give that so I'm, that third option. Can he can he be he's not gonna be this player, but can he just be the type of player for them to we don't even know who's gonna be there. But we don't even know he's gonna be a he could be a fuck around be a second option. After this summer. I just want to see how they and mold that's scary. him. scary. I want to see how they mold him into their little lineups. Because obviously the guard thing, yes, losing Marcus Smart, I think is, you can have a lot of questions about that. What was Porzingis sliding, doing last year? I got to look now. Sliding it's like Derek White and eight. in. Yeah. Porzingis was doing 23-8 and eight last year, and didn't mm, and Dallas like was that, that bad? Yeah. Not Dallas, I mean... Nah. The, uh, the Washington that bad? What yeah, the I didn't. I didn't. Yeah. I didn't watch too many Wizards games myself. I'm not gonna um, lie to you. Not, I ain't know. Uh, I didn't Derek know he White was sliding into that starting position. He's I didn't still know he was what, getting busy like team all defense. I ain't gonna lie. He's a dog. Man, they'll be all right at the guard position. I looked like the be. vocal. Obviously, you got to bring up the vocal leader idea because I know damn well Marcus Smart was the loudest voice in that locker room. They already had <laughs> some questionable things with. Obviously, he's going to be great for Memphis. Having to slide in. Oh, yeah. Having to slide in an assistant to be your head coach. And then you had some issues towards the end of the year that were flying around. Who knows how relevant it is? We're not in the locker room. But Marcus Smart's going to whip you into shape. He's going to yell at you if he doesn't like something. Um, Absolutely. 23 and fucking eight. But I mean, (laughs) I had no idea, bro. You look at the Memphis side. As much basketball I watched this year, bro, I had no idea that. He was averaging twenty three points. Mm-hmm. Fool me. Nah. Nah, Zinger Alpha. was uh, he was wow. Well, consistent. Was... Let's put it like that. Finally well, consistent season. with his, his games. Yeah. I did not watch but, um, a lot of those games last but year. Marcus Smart in Memphis, man. They're that's a, that, vocal they got an leader was, in the locker room. 
Yeah, their vocal leader was Stephen <laughs> Adams, and I don't know how much Stephen Adams. You want to listen to his big New I mean, Zealand he's, ass? Shit, he's scary, but he want to listen to Yeah, they want to listen to his ass, man. Now, Marcus um, Smart, bro, he's not going for that shit. He's not going for that extra. He's been in big playoff games. He know how to get in your ass. He is not scared, and that's exactly what they needed. Now, do bringing I think, that into your locker room and pushing out Dylan Brooks too. Um, they're going to play a lot of the same defensive roles. I mean, I saw some like comparing the shooting numbers stuff, but Marcus Mark doesn't have the uh, shot frequency of Mr. Dylan, Dylan Brooks. Brooks. Yeah. That, that. And you're offering some more playmaking on the ball. Yeah. And that it's, experience, invaluable. Yeah. It is. Exactly. Um, I, man, I take out. So y'all think Boston's going to be just fine with Porzingis, regardless of what happened with Jalen Brown? Yeah. I think uh, you slide Zinger into the four spot, start Robert Williams, finally just let him go. Yeah, why he not starting? You got your defensive. Injury. They love Horford. I don't know. Is it because of the injuries? Yeah, he is he, injured. He wasn't as good last year. Them damn but... knees do be getting just out of nowhere get hurt. I don't even hey. see him get hurt, and they be like, oh, Robert Williams is going to have surgery. What? Having some more insurance hurt. for when Robert Williams and – Horford get injured is obviously nice too. That's and then yeah. uh, Zinger's solid Porzingis... on defense. Like no, just he help is. defense to get a block. No, if yeah. Robert Williams is there playing solid D. He'll help out. The scoring's gonna be there. He's he's gonna disrupt some shots anyways. Just being seven three and long as shit. It's I like interesting. It. Celtics made a good move. It's just interesting. I, I can't really, believe I, mean, I, smart, I can't, like, I just cannot believe I misspoke about Porzingis like that because I had no fucking clue. That poor thing is was hooping like that. Yo, if you I had no, in, no one. If you weren't I, tuning into Washington games, well, I'm not going to be mad at you. I barely saw people talking about him. Like, bro, he was having a good. 23 is not bad. 23 and 8 is not bad at all. I feel like he gets kind of a, a, a lot of a reputation boost with a lot of his name. Um, people either think to the Dallas days or the Knicks days or the injuries and all of that. To where I mean, who's tapping in for a lot of the Wizards games? Nobody. He shot fifty percent from from the field, forty from three point, eighty five. Bro, he had a great season. Yeah. Wow. And if you could have sorry, that Porzingis, come in on some, I misspoke about you. If you had that on some lower usage and kind of plug in, plug in your pieces, work around. I mean, it's going to be really interesting to see how they fit it in. It's no, it's it is how they how they slot them into the lineup. Yo, one thing I did not know about Porzingis' career is that outside, of course, his rookie year and his second year broke, but every year, damn near, he averaged 20-plus points a game. Yeah. And the way people talk about it, you would never have thought it was like that. It hasn't been winning basketball. You know, it's going to get that knock on him. But look at the uh, teams he's been on. Look at the Nick team he got drafted to. Bro, that was terrible. That was the Those full Jackson the, years, right? Uh, he got drafted in 2016, so... Yeah, wasn't that Phil coaches, Jackson? I couldn't even tell you. Or right after, I'm I pretty thought, sure. Or was that right after the Phil Jackson? Because Phil Jackson was trying to sign Steve Kerr. So it was around the same time. Yeah, it was mm. kind of around the same time. Man, I Frankie still... Frankie Smokes. I know the Steve, Frankie Smokes draft is. I don't know. Uh, Frankie Smokes. I don't know. Love me but anyway, smoke. He, he, he's been <laughs> good. Sorry, sorry, Porzingis. I misspoke about you. I just tried to throw dirt on you, my boy. You might just All right. Boston. So now that you've seen the numbers, how do you feel about Boston on paper? I feel the same about Boston. Damn. <laughs> Straight up. I'm I really like do. Today, it is going to come down to your highest paid players. Yeah, like yeah. what he, he getting him is fine, but he ain't the reason they lost to Miami. He ain't the reason they Agreed. went to seven games with Philly. So it's like you bring back Jalen Brown. If Jalen Brown and Tatum, if Jalen Brown can get a left hand dribble, which I thought he always had one, <laughs> the fucking monsters took that shit from him quick. I don't know what am I. Is this like the Mandela effect? Did he not have a left hand all this time? Am I, I missing some, something? There was some noise about the loose handle for a little bit. But, you know, when it comes around the playoffs, 
Yeah, it is slow. It's, it's slow down. Line. But anyway, <laughs> if those two guys don't do what they're supposed to do, getting Porzingis is, is not going to really matter. I feel. I don't know. How y'all feel? The, the I mean, Tyus y'all Jones feel, inclusion but... on this is interesting, too. Tyus Jones? You say Tyus Jones went to the... He went to the Celtics? In the train? The oh, the Wizards. God damn, it's so much shit that happened. I missed that. I know. Nah, he's coming to Chicago. I wouldn't be surprised if they rerouted him. <laughs> Would not be surprised oh, one bit. That's one guy who could be on the move for sure. Because they Cause got... Right now, somebody could use him... Yeah, they yeah. don't need him in. They don't need him in the uh, in nah. over there. And they got Monte Morris too. Like yeah, and Delon, yeah. right? They got a lot. Of, yeah, they got a lot of guards. They're gonna move somebody. Absolutely. They're not. They're not. They're not done yet. No, it's not. Nah. I wanted to see what I really want to see what Boston and Memphis is gonna do for me to actually say how I feel about Boston and Memphis. Of course, that's gonna be after the summer and shit. But it's gonna be interesting. They made that one move. It's something they had to. It's not like he's a. He's not a scorer, but he's somebody you need. You need a fucking adult in that locker room. So <laughs> it's all they they need that. You got you got your two best players who just like loose cannons on the internet. Right, with with Triple J and Ja. <laughs> like you got you, you, need adult. you just had to say that. Oh. No pun intended. But I wasn't even thinking <laughs> uh, about that. Right. I was not even thinking about that. But right. yeah, so pew pew pew. Um onto the trades. It is the 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 most, the weirdest trade of them all that happened today. John Collin to the damn Jazz for Rudy Gay and some picks or some shit. Rudy one Gay and a second, second round pick. pick. Yeah, so they basically round they pick. were just getting rid of from his under his contract. Basically, it's trying yeah, to get flexible for the summer. It shows you what that what that what that market was. It was not looking it's high. Not good. Yeah, not a good place to be right now. Trying to. Sell some pieces. Shit. That's what they got Everyone's for John Collins. That CBA. Let me tell you Everyone's something. scared of that money next year. Let me tell you something. John Collins, they could have got so much more for John Collins a year ago. Two or years ago. Just, you know, oh, even sign him two years ago? Extension. Oh, my God. They would have, man, but I'm they so been glad. crazy to trade him before that rookie extension. That though, is which true. Is like, that is true. That was the best he's played. Yes. And yeah, like, and the numbers just. And he had the whole, he had the, the steroid <laughs> shit, which yeah, is weird. wild. When when an NBA player get caught with that shit, that's wild to me. I really don't understand. But uh, John Collins, I'm so glad John Collins' trade talk is over because that shit was it's just over. like Dame. Like, can we just stop talking about this? Such is over. It Perpetual. Every trade deadline, every off season. I could not believe when I saw season. that today. I'm like, damn, they actually did this shit. They finally did it. We're only talking about it because it's a trade. I don't really give a shit about the trade. Honestly, I'm just glad that John talk, the John Collins talk is over with. It don't I do like shit. Utah's doing. Yeah, Me, I like I the move know. for Utah. Yeah, I don't Utah, know. Just another big guy. Yeah, he's versatile. He what do they have bombs. to lose? No, exactly. No, they gonna put no, the Hawks marketing at the two and shit. Yeah, and just, just, just That's have what fun. With what are these lineups gonna look like? <laughs> just have fun with that. Just have fun over there. I don't know. I don't know what's going on in Utah, but I know they're trying to have fun. Fuck the the Taylor Hendricks prospect lover in me wants him to get some more reps early on, but I mean, if you can get John Collins for a second and Rudy Gay, it's like okay. I mean, yeah. there's some rumors in the trade deadline about Utah being interested as well with him. Mm-hmm. So he's from there too. I saw. Oh yeah, he um, John Collins is from Utah. Yeah. black people from Utah. I know, right? No, hell no, no. <laughs> I actually forgot about that one. There's at least one. Come on, fam. He's from Utah. I don't want, I'm Is curious, NBA Mormon? players. He's from Layton, Utah. I'm curious if NBA players from Utah in the league right now. Fam, I've never heard about it. This is the one thing <laughs> about him basketball and, uh, reference I killed. Him and Sam Merrill. Sam Merrill. Is he still in the... Who, who cares? Bro, anyway. G League legend. Yeah. Yo, how the fuck did he end up... How did he end up in Wake Forest? Hey, just like... Just like we said, the talent's there. They're going to see you. You just got to be out there, get the right exposure. Okay. That's all it is. Which, it see. looks like he went to high school in Florida, but he grew up in Utah because his dad was in the military. That's how he ended ah. up in Utah, and that's how he ended up in Wake Forest. I get all the answers I need. Thank you very much, Jonah. Shout out to Wikipedia. 
Yeah, yeah you, you're fast. Big shout outs. Uh, was there any other trades? Any big trades? I don't think there's no big trades. Those big trades I can think of that that went down. A um, couple, a couple draft day uh, around the margins, like the um, Rashawn Holmes got moved, which was interesting. Yeah, I saw them throw that in there. To where? To Dallas. To Dallas. Oh yeah. shit! I like um, Dallas. Is an like interesting Rashawn. place. Yeah, Dallas I like Rashawn Holmes. I think he's a decent piece off the bench. There's a big for ten minutes. If you yeah, can bring solid. in some talent for free and you're in Dallas's position. Yeah. And they picked up a uh, another prospect as well in that trade for I mean, Sacramento is thirty five million in cap space for this offseason now, which is really interesting. And they're paying Sabonis and Fox already, right? Sabonis yeah, already is on like off. a pretty cheap contract, but and he's running up soon. Harrison Barnes is done. There. He's a free agent. Yeah. Oh, I think they'd maybe bring him back as like a worst case scenario, get him back cheap. Um, but hey, maybe they'll get active. Maybe they'll make a trade. They I don't know. No, I don't really know a lot of the the big free agent class. Like, I don't really think it's not that big. Is it? It's some I think players. It's, it's I think it's leaning more towards good. trade for them. I want to say. Yeah, it's not very deep. It's a lot of role players. There's some guys up top who were like borderline fringe. Like, what's D'Lo going to, you know, where's he going to end up? D'Lo. So I don't even he know could what be, his market is. How are you going to fuck around? He could be a six man. Oh, here we go. So. Yeah. Would like Sacramento to target some more larger players, but. Wait we'll a see. minute. We'll see, man. You got Westbrook, Harden, Middleton. It's Enzo nothing Russell's. like fantastic. But yeah, they have money to work Jeremy. with. Money to work with. Yes, facts. Especially, Especially if Wood, they want to take in a Rose, guy on maybe a Beasley, larger contract and give up less. I don't know. This this is very yeah. So, it's, got, yeah. That's like, why uh, <laughs> when you got when you have Kevin Love in your top ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hey, He's number seven, reason, like money wise. Well, he's making yeah. like he's number seven on the list for free agents. Now you get why Derek Jones Jr. opted out. Yeah, I mean, nobody like he's gonna get a little more money. Go find out. Now Kuzma's on there. That should be that's he should be. He's no, trying to get thirty mil. He said. Hey, <laughs> yeah, he's all trying the to glory, get all the hey, glory. Hey, so how much you giving uh Kyle Kuzma? Kuzma? Yeah, how much? You know you what? I'd actually give him like twenty five. I give him four over a hundred over four years. I give him that. That's still not Solid. enough, probably. No, that's not gonna do it, bro. Twenty million a year. <laughs> that's not gonna. That's not gonna no, do it for him. That's not. You already know. <laughs> you thought about I'm like I'm you are with the money, but that's not gonna. He was making thirteen last year, so I mean, that's still seven up. But he probably feel like he deserves more than twenty a year. So he's gonna close. Yeah. He's gonna hang the phone up on your ass for sure. Yeah. No, I'm doing twenty five tops. Twenty five a year. I think that's good for him, 25. That seems 30. like a market value. And yeah, it's like, is... how much are teams going to be throwing out with this new rules? Yes. I mean, I'm telling you, this first teams, year is going to be interesting. We have to see no how idea. Be. None. Yo, there's only, what, six, seven teams that have more than, like, 25, 30 mil anyways. So I don't think there's going to be crazy contracts. At least Kuzma out. looks more of a fit where it's like, like the Fred Van Vliet and the D'Lo situations are tough because so many teams yeah. have point guards. Where, yeah, yes. where are they going to go? You look more towards a wing. It can be like, okay, I could see someone giving some bread out for this. Why but... would D'Lo leave the Lakers unless the Lakers don't want him back, a.k.a. LeBron? <sighs> then where he's going to go? Point, where are you going to yeah, go at that point? Because where are you going to go? Like, if, if the Lakers don't want you, who traded for you? Who traded for you? If they don't want your ass, what team are you going to want them? Because hey, his last outing of us seeing D'Lo was not the best outing we've seen. So it was like... The recency biases. Yeah. All I'm going to say yeah. is we traded him for Conley, Nikhil, and second rounders. And then we used those second rounders to trade oh. for Leonard. So I'm feeling wonderful. Yeah. Y'all won that trade. Oh, I'm feeling God. tremendous. So how much you giving but, Kyrie? I Kyrie? think... He's still gonna get still. his. He's still yeah. gonna get his bag. Because um, when he when he's on the court, he's still. He's still that motherfucker. Okay, how about this dude? What top eight? This maybe? a good one. This a good one. 
Chris Middleton. That is a tricky one. That is a tricky one because he's up there in years. He's 31. I don't know what they're doing over in Milwaukee, to be honest. Dog. But... Oh. Anything would have – just give me a decline on the on the contract. But they got straight. bird rights. Yeah, that's a big so, thing too. So they're going to do something. They're going to – they're going to – mil. Bro, he's making 35-5 this year. There's no Bro, way. He's coming off a couple injuries. There's like, no way. You know, there's I'll no give him way. The years. Twenty I'll give him million. The years. I'm not giving him the. How about Harden? I'm not. I'm not giving him the big bag. How much you giving Harden? Harden? That's a tricky one too. That is. Where is he going? Harden in Philly or Harden in Houston? It's that weird middle ground where. I mean, if I'm Houston, I'm not doing that, bro. If I'm Houston, I got my young guys. Nah, yeah. I'm not doing that. I'm not. I think I'm not they do. Not do the same shit. They do I'm, need a vet. They do, but he's not but it. That's not the vet. I don't think you want a high usage vet. No, hell no. no. You need you need like a Marcus Smart vet. That's what they need. Yeah, oh, not, been one of them perfect. should he been trade perfect for one for of those guards in uh in Washington. Get somebody who's been in the league for five plus years. Yeah. I am a lot more interested in Houston's future though after this draft, man. I'm saying, when yeah. does 2K come out? Because I'm about to run with these Houston the Rockets lineup. for a few years. Let me man. tell you something. The way we killed Houston early in our <laughs> early in our podcast, they have made a whole change. Going to get you, Doka, you got a coach. You got a for real coach. Then what they did in this draft, on they top of what they already busy, have. So what? They still do got to get busy with the coaching and iron oh, yeah, it out. Yeah, but yeah, ideally, yeah. you're still in that rebuilding phase where it's you don't worry about that until like two or three. If I'm a Houston fan, I know what we're doing. As a Bulls fan, mm-hmm. I don't know what the fuck we're doing. <laughs> no, nah, I don't even want to talk about it. If I want to look as a fan, you want to you know something. You want to know if my team rebuilding is my team like fuck. We're gonna ro-. just let me know where we are. I, I hate that middle ground. I is hate the guessing because I don't know where. If I'm guessing, purgatory. Bro. I hate that shit. Shout I out always to the talk about Pistons that. of that. the mid 2010s. Yes, like I don't want to <laughs> be in the middle of that shit. Like the eighth seed every year. Every year. Man. Why? Why was the Pistons now, making the playoffs the, with Brandon Jennings or the the or eight Brandon seeds? Be feeling different now because we got more of a balanced league. Yeah, because the eight seed then was getting swept every swept. time. Every every time, like it was <laughs> no <laughs> point to watch the, um, one versus eight. It was no, no point, not at all, zero, not bro. At all. The early two thousands, the nineties, it was no point to watch in that first round, especially when it was three games. That... You knew. When that when the now time out of ten the best team, that that one scene went up 2-0. that game that series was not coming back here Easy. or wherever it yeah. was it was not going back <laughs> it was gonna be done in three or four regardless like it was never no now you know four best out of seven is kind of hard because you still feel like you got a chance but when you're down 2-0 and a best of three you like right, oh, there's many, no way how many uh thirty nine and forty three teams. We're getting to like two wins in that first round. A handful this, this year. <laughs> it's like, oh, never. back then. Oh, it's, it's shit. I, I mean, don't even think. I don't that... even think. I don't even think a thirty-nine win team made the playoffs back then. Those low seeded like, teams that did I gotta make an now. upset or something are infamous for a reason because mm-hmm. they were few and far. Yo, shout when out Dem- the. Uh, Go ahead. Golden State, Baron Davis. We believe Warriors. Oh yeah, they we beat believe, Dallas. Yeah. Um, in the nineties, I was Denver with Matumbo over Sean Kemp and Gary Payton. Was that like ninety four? I think. That was I don't think 90s. Jordan. I think one of the years uh-huh. the Houston won. I believe that's when that happened. Yeah, I think that was ninety five. I won't then, throw think how the between that with, was. Uh, so what was that between then the and then? Oh, the Knicks <laughs> made it to the finals. <laughs> Forgot about that. Did they beat? They had to be the first seed. Who did they beat? I don't even remember who the Knicks. Don't ask me, bro. Yeah, yeah, pull it up. Shit. That was the <laughs> that was the uh, lockout year too. But I don't yeah, remember that was who a the, short year. I don't remember who the Knicks beat though in the first round. I'm really, I I do not remember that. Who they beat? Wow, they beat. Who they beat? Miami in five games. Wow. How do I forget How that? Because Miami and the, the and the Knicks had iconic series. They had... Hey, but we're talking about fake signings. We got some for real signings that happened. 
Your boy, I say we're right into it. Your boy went back to Minnesota. How you feeling nice about that? That was a nice notification to hit the phone. How, how you hey, feel that about that? Nice, that felt great. Nice contract um, too. Hey, yeah, 14 million is 14 million, but when you consider what other teams could have maybe priced up for to give him more minutes and yeah. he decided to stay home, uh, probably will be a two year deal because the player option attached. But wasn't the Wizards looking at him? I mean, I think oh, any younger team yeah, would want to yeah, make them, that gamble. Them, but that is true. Um, I'm, I'm happy for y'all that they're seeing Minnesota keeping their young players and. Y'all just got a, a lot of money. Story Y'all too. got a lot of money tied up in three big ass. I was gonna bro. say he's that's gonna be a thing. nice piece to keep when you move cat. I don't yeah. even know what position Nas is. He's just a basketball player. Yeah, he's a hooper. So he's bro. a big guard. Does he care? He's a about... big guard. I was about yeah. to say because uh-huh. he can handle the rock His a little bit ridiculous too. Ridiculous for a center. Does he care Man. about playing center or a power four? You know, some people, aka AD, don't it's like so playing positionless five. in the league that. Unless you're the only guy out, I mean, it's kind of impossible for us to play him like a true center unless there's injuries. It it's all depends on who was, who's on the court, who's out, yeah. who's healthy. Um, but yeah, that was definitely good to see, um, and that he wanted to come back. I mean, the development story is great too because he was undrafted after being a five star. He was really big, big high school prospect. Where is where is he, he from? He went to, he went to he's LSU. From, he's from Jersey, no, no. but okay, he went to I LSU. To L- I remember he went to LSU. I remember that. Yeah, he's from Jersey. Um, and then he was he was big when he came into the league, and he slimmed down he so was. much. He was, he a big was big, wasn't he? Yeah. If you Yo, look at like rookie year pictures, he's like a different it's crazy. player. He's like a whole different person. Yo, he was big. Rookie year pictures of him, he's looking chunky, and now he's he was slimmed chunky, down so he, much. He's done well. The, he went from uh he was a two way guy and then like a week later they gave him a four year deal with like super cheap yeah they gave yeah, him a little rookie first, scale yeah. it was I like think, three I think years Minnesota in the should always yeah. be a, a team people should watch for obvious reasons Your obvious reasons it's always just, yo, some chaos you got going your boy on. but I think that's a it's just a fun team to watch they're growing and getting this done before free agency opened is massive and that's chaos. Yep. Because it somebody can get to him, and then it's just crazy. Like all you said, we don't know. We don't know what's gonna happen this, this summer with all this uh, with the new CBA. That's remember I was telling y'all it was a uh, Windhorse who was saying that that uh, the Suns didn't know really about all the CBA talk because <laughs> it was so many. It's only everybody wasn't in the room with these talks. So I guess the Suns was one of them, and the Suns made that trade. And then basically in April, the CBA was like, we're trying to stop super teams. So yeah. that's basically why they like dove into the let's trade for Bill type shit. So it's really going to be interesting to see, like you say, it was really big for the Timberwolves to get that done because you don't know what team will be um, throwing out money, what team will be like, fuck it, and just do it. And then is he restricted or unrestricted? He was unrestricted. He was unrestricted because so, he was – uh. He wasn't like a true rookie contract. So that's even scarier for y'all. So yeah. that's big ups to the Minnesota front office getting that shit done to a good piece for y'all. So shout that out was, to was I don't know what see. it looks like to have a, a front office making somewhat good moves. Hey. It's been a minute. The Rudy I'm, I'm, I'm still I'm talking limbo, shit. We made good moves. It just didn't work out for us. That's all. The Rudy's still in limbo, yeah. but everything other than the Rudy trade so far from Conley has been great. Yeah, the Rudy trade yeah, is... I saw... The uh, draft picks for him. Conley's been doing crazy numbers in the draft. No, he did he luck into Jokic, but I think that that man can talk about scouting talent. Yeah, he knows what he's doing. No, he we'll take it. He got the right people over there. Yeah, hey, give me the working around the margins talents when you, especially now, because when you could find those guys and get them on. I mean, our second round pick last year, my not, we gave him that same uh, four year like. Seven eight million dollar deal. It's like, what yep. do you have to lose with those deals? No, if the guy's not I, good. You can find those thing. team options. And yeah, that's where I'm so out. These guys and you can that's try to develop guys into role players. <laughs> well, we uh, the Bulls did that. They gave Daniel Gafford the same type of deal. It was like four Man, years. I miss him. I miss him. Yeah, I hope I but, hope uh, he gets. I hope he gets moved to a better team. Me too. Yeah, he'll, he's a better he fit somewhere. I, I he does love, the right things. I love his motor, man. I just don't, energy. Yeah. Something we need. Perfect needed. backup option. You know, I, I, I would love to keep him, but 
Who else signed? I think Nobody, that's all right? it's been so far. I um, mean, one. So many re-signs. A lot of it's just guys opting into stuff because they're getting traded. But yeah, mm-hmm. that's what happened with Porzingis, right? Yeah, yeah. Same with uh, Rudy Gay had a player option as well. Yeah. Oh, this I don't know. I don't know. If, I don't know if Dame said this, but Dame was. I don't know. It was a quote saying that he want Jeremy Grant and Draymond to be next yeah. to him in Portland. And we all. The, I don't know what the cap looks like, but. Everyone wants. What to are you gonna win? Yeah, exactly. What are you gonna I mean, win? I figured he gets some defensive pieces. Grant kind of can do a little bit of everything, anyways, plus score. But then you got Dame, uh, Simons, Sharp. Honestly, like you got I'm, enough scoring. You do. So I but get honestly, it. Bring some defense in. I'm looking Draymond, at Simon. Draymond is his skills gonna work the best when you have. You're not gonna never. You're never gonna have Clay and Curry, but his skills work the best. When you ain't got, he ain't got to score. That's you know what I'm saying. So you got to make sure you got those guys. We know Dame can, but we don't know. Si- is it Simons or Simmons? Simons, right? Simons. Anthony Simons. Simons. He they got him one with that. Now I'm seeing that Portland was it Portland that turned on the trade for no was it the Nets turned on the trade. Somehow I felt okay. down. But it was like the third pick. And Anthony for Mikael Bridges, and they turned it down. Yeah, they tripping over there. I don't know. I forgot where if, it, but it was active talks. I can't remember if who I don't turned even know it down. Considered active talks of Portland. Yeah, it true. was Brooklyn because because Brooklyn also turned down two firsts for uh, yeah. So it was Brooklyn Finney Smith. Man, they bro. tripping. They tripping. Let me tell you bro. something. If I can give up that third pick for and Anthony Simons. For Mikael Bridges on the wing with Dane, give it, it to me. It wouldn't surprise me if they had the intel that they knew Miller was going to, and they said maybe let's sit back and just take Scoot. Mm. I hear that. Um, that's the scary thing about the reports is it's like you don't know when this shit came it's out. It's so hard to read what's the smoke and mirrors and what's yes. the relevant information. Ooh. And you don't know y'all when these conversations about... happened. That's the y'all that's the talk problem. About, uh, Shams, <laughs> his little situation. That was what? wild. What? Okay, so before the draft, I think it was like 2 o'clock in the afternoon, something like that, early afternoon, Shams go ahead and tweets out the Scoot Henderson is gaining steam or momentum for the number two pick, something. And you know he's affiliated with FanDuel, so betting world went crazy. Started dropping oh. hell of money. Yeah. He, then is with, Scoot, he is on that FanDuel show and shit yeah, over there. so then... Scoot goes three, Miller goes two, obviously. And everyone's like, well, Shams basically told us, and he's the guy. And then Woj put out the tweet later. Yeah, Woj was like, nah, Charlotte said it was Miller. He said all all along. Uh huh. (sighs) So you think Shams on some dirty shit? People are on Shams' ass talking about it. Looks, is it illegal? It doesn't look the best. <laughs> yeah, it's a little gray area working for FanDuel while also being an insider. Like, no, yeah, you can't do that. I'm all for a fun uh, sports bet here and there, but the implementation of sports betting into like the world sports world in this era is kind of crazy where we're at. Because look, I was watching. I'm just glad you said it. I was watching the um, College World Series, um, baseball World Series. That was some good stuff. It's been that shit's always fun. That shit's very mm-hmm. entertaining. Um, but they were talking. I don't know if it was a school's AD, but anyway, they were talking about how betting is so legal now in all these different places. And now, like, you can bet on these college games. So it's like, it sucks for some of these players because they see their peers. Their peers are betting on them. So it's like, you're going to talk to them like, man, listen, I need you to do this. (laughs) So I need you to do that. So it's like, it's a very slippery, slippery slope when it comes to this shit. Chemistry, bro. I don't think you miss them fucking free throws. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, that's. That's dangerous. This is good. You see, NFL my party player, money, right? NFL players is getting popped off. For it could already bits. been crazy if it happened at like UNLV with a player, but now these guys have access at the palm of their hands, which yes. makes it yes. So that I didn't know that shit about Sham. That's Shams. He got to be careful with that shit. Me working at FanDuel. Social, we're getting these players that come up in the social media era too. It's 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 especially in bas- I look to it especially in basketball because these kids are eighteen, nineteen years yeah. old coming into the league. You got to be. 
Uh, yeah, speaking of that, go ahead. There was a Character. I forgot who it was, but there's a couple of guys who were like, "You don't even need to look for my Twitter. I don't have one." Oh, it's like shit. just avoiding the the bullshit from the start. Just worried yeah, you about your to. brand. I appreciate it. No, I appreciate this too because this shit is nuts. Stuff. This shit is nuts. This shit is wild now. Dude, if I was that, if I had that kind of uh, influence, Dog. I would be man going back to a twelve year old's Twitter talking about some stupid shit. Yeah. Just leave me alone. You saw? I'm glad you brought it up. You saw Jason Whitlock? Oh my god, he was talking shit about <laughs> this dude was an idiot, but. It's about the whole KD talking to going. To, was it a was that spaces or was that clubhouse? One of the two, but it was, it was on Twitter space. space. It yeah. was a space, wasn't it? That's what I thought. Yeah. They always do the um, legend. <laughs> Is it legend of winning? Winning low. I'm just saying low. That's what everybody call him. But uh, Jason Woodlock brother. was basically calling uh, KD. It basically, said it was it was beneath him to even be trying to get nose. Do you think KD so is soft for doing does. that or? You think it's that's so cool? different than what he does in replies? He's just saying it with his mouth. Yeah, yeah. I feel that's Somebody what I feel. else, uh, Jason McIntyre, the same guy who was talking about Chicago oh, yeah. Warzone. That dude, he <laughs> him said and the Jason Lillard was yeah, just on the same thing. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Clown it all makes sense now. Just turn it off. Just turn that it shit off. Fox sense. Sports is clown program. It's damn near worth the <laughs> ESPN, bro. Cut it off. Think about it. If KD think about these wants shows. to go into a, if he wants to go into a Twitter space and defend himself, I'm all for it. Like, give me yeah, full. He, what I think he KD said, yeah, what time. he said wasn't even out of the, out of pocket. I don't think he's being disrespectful. He was just talking about how they all be grading players is dumb. Like, and then the bro, pictures of dope that is for the community that KD even jumped in here. That's what I thought. There was two other. I mean, Jeremy Sohan on the Spurs was in a a, a Rockets fans space. Oh, for real? Yesterday, and <laughs> that's then, dope. CJ McCollum, Trey Murphy, and Larry Nance were in uh, space today, too, chopping it up with people. Should we start yeah, doing like, spaces? Spaces world is crazy. Let's, let's ponder that. I've never done, I've never done spaces. So. It's just like Clubhouse, it's, bro. It's, it's some chaos. Yeah. Shit. You got to pick it up. I do. some law and order. <laughs> yeah, I get into some, like, I do, a, uh, I jump in a photography space, like, every Thursday. See, that's if ethical. We're talking NBA Twitter. Yeah, that's... But I listen, don't know if I want to do that. But listen, <laughs> this shit is deeper than y'all think, boy. It'd be beefs and shit going on in the, in the photography world. It should be nuts. I'd be laughing. I'd be reading this shit. But I said, I, say, I go in these spaces. Sometimes I'll just listen. I'll chime in. I'll be hearing some wild <laughs> shit. People go back and forth. Nothing. Hey, you know what's everywhere. equal to NBA Twitter, though? Hip-hop Twitter. Oh. Lord... <laughs> Jesus. That just lunks into like staying culture essentially. Y'all, hip hop Twitter <laughs> That's all is, it is like NBA Twitter. Some of these different threads I get into on there, oh god, it's just so much. But I didn't think I didn't see nothing wrong about K doing what he's doing. He just did it in talking form. He just didn't type it. I love it's, his Twitter activity. It's yeah, hilarious. Like, his Twitter presence is hilarious. He's one of the few NBA players I follow because I follow. I've noticed that I might like some of these athletes or rappers, singers. I don't give a fuck what they tweet or what they post. I give them a nah. chance, and I'd be sad, be like, this is dumb. Unfollow. But KD will always have a follow <laughs> from it's me. Just clap. It's just clapping back. <laughs> yes, KD will always have a follow. The other day, there's a Nets him. fan saying something about him going to super teams, and he's like, I enjoyed your your uh, support throughout the season. Hope you're well, or something <laughs> yeah, like yeah. that. <laughs> oh, I, and I'll always follow LeBron because LeBron will always give you a tweet that, why are you tweeting this? He he posted <laughs> his 600 emojis. Yeah, he will. His Instagram, his Instagram stories are the best. Yeah, I need to post some I don't really jump on no, uh, Instagram like that no more, but I always see, of course, Twitter... Get everything first, the same like. So I'm always going to yeah. see it. Even if he posts exactly. on Instagram, that shit be right on Twitter. Seconds later. Always. Get there. Yep, yeah, like quick. Twitter Twitter gets shit first. No matter what news it is, I find everything first through Twitter. Every time. It's hilarious, but man, uh, ain't, no, ain't no more like signings, but I know there's been some bunch of funny ass basketball shit going on. Uh, I wanted to shout out Jabari Parker real quick. What do you do? You getting a look? You getting a look with the Suns, man? Oh shit! Yeah, man. I just want to see him back in the league at any. That's all they can afford. Can... Man, that's all they can afford anyway. I <laughs> wish Jabari Parker 
Never tore his ACL twice so much. Facts. Me too, bro. That man was putting up like 50 40 numbers as a second year player. Bro, Just, he was ch- and he was still chubby. What could he have just been? At the he didn't even get to his NBA body defense. yet. He just didn't have much defense to fall back on when he lost nah. some of that juice on offense. Yeah, when you get to them injuries like that, if you if you're not like a shooter, like uh, if you you know who had a good second to their career after injuries, Grant Hill, Vince Carter. If you don't have some Sean type of Livingston, Sean Liv, oh my God, you go to the right, to you go to the right spot. You have some defense left in you, and your three point shot is enough. From the corner, you will be in the league forever. But I hope he's I hope he's been working. Me I know too. he's been doing his thing around the city with the yeah, community. Yeah, yeah, facts. I always see about but, that. But he still chills around the city a lot. Oh, he does. Yeah, definitely. He needs to get back in the league though. He's he too does. young. Game was too much. How old is he? Like thirty? Probably Not like twenty seven. Yeah. I mean, he's what? the same draft young, as Wiggins. Yeah. Oh yeah. He is. He is twenty eight years old. Damn. Yeah. Give him a spot. When last time he actually Turn. played? Let's look. Uh, the Kings. Boston? Bench player with Boston. Like Bench a player with Boston. Yeah. I'm about to give him like the Mike Beasley treatment, man. It's another guy who should have been in the league. High pick. He was, yeah. he was so fun. Yo, Beasley was, was fun. Yo, I had a whole conversation about Beasley, the Timberwolves, last week. We got into it real <laughs> deep. Dropping you, names like Wes Johnson. Uh, Anthony Randolph. I was watching names. this and I'm like, I want this Martel to be my Webster. team. Man, I thought of Anthony Anthony Randolph is hooping for Real Madrid right now. Good for him. Good for him. Should have been. Just, my guy said in another script, he's the truth. Bro, I loved him. I thought he was ten year old me. <laughs> thought he was gonna be special. We all know, had shit. players like we really thought this dude like, was gonna be. Especially when you're a thought kid, he was gonna be special. You got so much optimism as a kid. I told y'all, uh, I don't even remember how old I was, but I just knew Austin Rivers was that dude after he made that buzzer shot. He was such a fun <laughs> college player. I just knew, oh, yeah, he's going to be good. I mean, he's still That's a solid player. Is, he's still a solid player in the NBA, but you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, he's going to be the guy, guy. You're getting my tip of the yeah. cap if you're a really good college player still and you fizzle out. You're still a hoop legend. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. At this point. Oh, yeah, Absolutely. definitely. Absolutely. What else, y'all, man? See, hey. Have y'all been listening to any music? Did y'all listen to Thugger or did y'all listen to Gunner? I didn't listen to Thugger. I listened to Gunner, though. I did. I've been reading some shit on Twitter of people thinking they know these people, which is always funny. But That's fine. I listen so to the music. Listen to the music. Yeah, listen to the music and shut up. Thugger. They don't know you. I like last. I like Thugger's last album way more than like it this It had one. a lot read on of, uh, hey, let's release some archive music on an album. Oh, it's definitely, That's what I heard. It definitely, it definitely had some copy and paste, like some throwaways yeah. that didn't make other shit. You know what I'm saying? Like it definitely yeah, had shit. that. He's behind bars. Like yeah, there's only so know? much you can do. So um, it was cool though. Gonna had a it's solid, a solid one. I listened to I Thugger like four or five sleepers. times just to just to see how I really like it. It was cool. It had some bangers. But I listened to Gunna once. Yeah, me too. It was good. Like, I, listen, I didn't listen to Gun all the way you through. You know what either. you're getting. Yeah, I didn't listen to Gun nah. all the way through either, but it was it wasn't bad. Nah, I was man. trying to catch my music to during a what I listen to during a workout. That's that's it. The gotcha. rest of it's just I listen podcast. What's crazy is listen. I listen. It depends course, on what situation love, I'm in. Yeah, I love hip hop <laughs> big time, but like 85 percent of the time I listen to jazz. That's hey, crazy. That's part. my study. That's my study that, music. Right I listen there. to that shit all that's day cool. long. I, I put might the speaker across souls. the room. Yeah, I love jazz. Oh, I might playlist. listen to some Bob Marley or jazz. That's just always playing. My grandpa and my dad put me onto the jazz. Yeah, for jazz. Sure. So, you, so I'm gonna see you some playlists, man. I'm telling you, man. Start calling you Jonah Coltrane. Shit. Ah! I, be just, I just be looking up. I be pulling up the, the Miles, the John Coltrane little Spotify playlist, the Miles Davis little playlist. Look, if you can put in Gillespie little playlist. Yeah, if you put I'm in good. like um study jazz that playlist, you put in work jazz. That playlist, they all make sense. The brain sure be yes, going you start locked in. I must. I'm gonna. We're gonna sing you some. We're gonna sing you some. Straight up, but go the ahead. I got up. a desk job. Go yeah, ahead. Yeah. Oh, jazz will get you. You be locked in. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. Vibing. But I've been trying to catch up with music. I've been trying to catch up with shows. I finally finished 
No, I didn't. Oh, I finally finished like Grey's Anatomy. I don't think y'all watched that shit. That's possible? Man. I don't watch. It. Right, I is it possible? <laughs> oh, I st- I've been watching Grey's Anatomy since I've seen every Grey's Anatomy episode. When did it start? Like when? For real? I is started watching. I, I started watching Grey's Anatomy. It was already some seasons in, but I had went back and caught up. So I've seen every episode that's been out from Grey's Anatomy. I've seen every single one. So I, this I is the time of the year season. when I start diving into random stuff that isn't. I yeah, noticed I how much reason, time I put into watching past. I got into it random. Yeah, like Jonah, Jonah's time is tapped out. We already yeah, know he's we, doing. Yeah, we already know he's on. I I'll watched be on the Hardwood new... Classics in a month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see what else I watched. I watched uh, I'm a Virgo. Oh, that's a new show on Amazon Prime. I should check that shit out. I felt like it was like a it's live action. List. It was like a live action cartoon to me. That's how I felt mm. because characters was like you know like in cartoons characters wear the same outfit. No matter what, that's how they was dressed in here. Like it was always uh, wearing the same shit. It, it was cool, but I I watched that. I was like, don't spoil it. No, no, no. I finally I, did, uh, I, I fi- caught the go ahead this flaming hot movie. Uh, I did not flaming hot movie. And I don't know. It was actually pretty. It was pretty decent. Uh, I forgot where I watched it. it might I got to redo Plus. my Netflix. I use I use my cousin Netflix, but I don't use theirs no more. So just I have go to... ahead and just leave that one off the list, bro. Uh, I'm not gonna. Yeah. I'm gonna see Netflix. I got so much shit. I watched. I finally started watching The Bear. I do need to get around to watching that. I finally started watching that. I'm I'm mad at myself for sleeping this long on this show. I'm only starting the first sleep. season. I'm four episodes in, and I love this shit. I That's probably it. where I gave up. You didn't like it? <laughs> I I don't know, man. It was whatever. That's my shit. And it's I, not I guess everybody. I, and I'm also At a Lip fan episodes from in. Shameless. Least, yeah. I like Lip. Lip is my guy, so I gotta. He was a he was a good character. Yeah, and so. it being in Chicago, I gotta. Be, I have to give it a chance. Go through this. Nah. You don't fuck with sometimes it. Sometimes the Chicago. Sometimes the love for your own city just goes too hard. No, One see, of my things. Go ahead. We should not be listening to "Lucid Dreams" by Juice World on the radio still. <laughs> and I know nobody listens to the fucking radio but me for like the fifteen minutes this I'm in man, the car. But I'm tired his, of that he's goddamn got his, song. His Sports Center in the morning, his radio and on the way to work. To the radio, dog. I listen to six seventy to score ESPN radio. You listen to six seventy with Mike North, dog. I'm in the car for like twenty minutes. I don't care to listen to the. Fam, some you radio. Gotta, you can have a podcast. You can listen to a podcast, dog. I'm gonna do that all day at work. Cord. Sometimes I drive in silence. Yeah, I'd Sometimes rather I listen. I do be hitting in the morning. I'll call. I'd rather be hitting in the morning. I'd rather listen. I'd rather <laughs> drive in silence to turn on Mike North <laughs> on six. <laughs> what about the the Cat Man? Oh my God, David Kaplan <laughs> and Jonathan Hood. <laughs> It's still a weird ass. I'm, matter of fact, shout out John the Hood Sometimes. for finally getting on the morning show. He should have been there. But I still think it's a weird ass dynamic. And I don't like that producer uh, on there. They, they, their takes would just be so. I don't like you. I don't like you. Dog, everybody on ESPN radio's takes. Sometimes they just talking the most random yeah, shit. Yeah, like, and then the people oh, who we call went home in. this weekend and we had this wine and I was yeah, trying to edible. Just, like, when they first yeah, got. Get to the <laughs> boy. Yeah, yeah it's like, get to it. It's just shut care. up. Like, it's just so much. It's dumb. But I've been trying to catch up on shit. I was watching that. It's just so much different things. Uh, I still outside. haven't watched the new White Man Can't Jump. I don't think I'm ever going to watch it. Even though I found out it's I don't not a it remake. A it's just a whole goal. new one. But and You know what? I watched it. I thought it didn't deserve as much hate. But it's not like good. It's still I'm not going to watch it again. Because <laughs> I think it but... <laughs> the fact they gave it that name... They shouldn't have did that because I thought it was like a remake, but it is not a remake. So why would y'all even use that name? You know what I'm saying? Like, I it, get it. It but is. It's a twist. You know, they do a lot of spins. So they're not using the same like, name. It's not like Sidney Dean and Billy Hoy, nah, right? You know, they don't like can't do that. Ideas. You cannot do that. <laughs> nah, it's the same thing. I need they to run made, that movie back. Know, Ariel Black and Little Mermaid they did a little switch, you know? I need to run back bit. the original uh, White Man Can't Jump for sure. Speaking of that, that's too nice. Uh, so I know you said you had some basketball. Oh yeah, y'all wanna? Uh, yeah, knock it out. Let's go. Hey, top three basketball movies. Let's go one by one. Is it for us personally? Yeah, just what? Yeah, personal. What okay. Y'all got? 
for me. My first one. I'm well, go, go ahead you go first. first one. You go first. This is your shit. Go ahead. Do your whole do all my three of yours. Do your three. All three? Do all three. All right. Number one. Gonna say some bullshit. Gotta go. He whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. He got game is not bullshit. Oh, okay, okay. okay he good. got game. Okay, is a masterpiece. If you want to watch Ray Allen act, it's the best thing you'll ever see, and the storyline is great too. Now, but Jesus, wise, Jesus, shut up. Now you went too far. <laughs> Yo, you went too far. Watching that movie as an adult, <laughs> it he got game falls on that card category as when you watch that movie as a young child. And you watch that shit as an adult, you look at that shit different. Because as you get older, you appreciate it's so different. You appreciate great you understand? acting. You appreciate acting when you get older, and Yo, when you watch that acting, shit. But also the process of getting recruited and all this shit was amazing. As an adult, Denzel saved that. If they didn't have Denzel Easy. in that shit, dude, dude need that. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel what you're saying with Ray Allen. He did. He didn't do a terrible job. It just wasn't. As you get older, you realize, nah. oh man. But he's up there as far as uh, NBA actors. No, oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Oh my god. It's terrible. It's a bad list. Yeah, it's a bad one. Who else? You, what else you got uh, on the list? Number two, I got Hoop Dreams. You know, Chicago. I wasn't not expecting to say that. Got to run it back with those two. Okay, man. That's, that's the. That's the. Did you like part? Classic. Did you like Hoop Dreams Part Two? Who Dreams Part 2 was interesting because but it definitely wasn't the see, first one. Yeah. It's, no, it's not even the same type of shit. Yeah, it wasn't. The first one was like, holy nah. shit. Yeah. That was like ahead of his time type documentary type shit. It was. Like, you it's, know it's what I'm a saying? a total different type Told of vibe and really yeah. seeing what's happening. But that's that's a pick I didn't see you doing. I did not see that coming. Nah. And number three, kind of classic, but loving basketball. I knew you were going to say this bullshit. <laughs> Let me tell you something. As a hooper, everybody wants that love and basketball type of love. Not I. Play one on one. Why? Not, get out of here. Why? It's romantic, bro. I'm telling you something right now. Strip one on one. Can I say fan. that on here? Go ahead. <laughs> Strip one on one in the dorm room. Come on, that's a whole vibe. Let me tell you something. I do not. Do you want to go ahead? Get off. I don't ever right again now. have to watch love and basketball. Give me a poster of moves. I never had to watch it ever again. I'm gonna be honest with you. Hey, all's fair in love and basketball. But that's bro. your top three, so that's mine. Go ahead, go, go ahead. Go ahead. Who who's next? Is Jonah you? I got mine. I can pop off. I can pop off. Go ahead, pop off for us. I got. I really hey, wonder what you're gonna say. This is heavily nostalgic driven. Okay. I gotta put Space Jam. I knew. That's what I thought he was gonna say it first. You gotta nah. It was I just a coincidence to. I was putting this on, but that's a classic. I didn't even pay. I wouldn't even pay attention to the sweat, to the to the hoodie. I just know you like Space Jam like that. But I ahead, love John. my cartoons, man. I hear you. I hear you. I, <laughs> I love you, my man. Looney Tunes. I mean, it's cool when you can have the real life action and the cartoons mixed in, and it's an old movie. That was pretty dope. No, yeah, that was cool. Um, but he's definitely on the bottom list of NBA actors. Yeah, absolutely. MJ is pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, you're not you're not watching that for good acting. No, nah, hell no. That's not what you was watching that for. I didn't know what that yeah, was, yeah. was back then. You got Bill Murray in there for no reason. Yeah, I'll say Bill Murray. Shout out Bill, Bill Murray for dating Khalees. I don't know. That's random, but I just <laughs> how that happened. How y'all was in the same room? Was, uh, just start dating. But go ahead. That's that was just, uh, that's that was just quite the the Twitter. Yeah, I couldn't believe that. I just Twitter pop I knew up. that was a hoax and it wasn't. But go I'm ahead. I'm a rock with white man can't jump. My boy. The vibes are Easy. different. My bo- I love that. I love that movie. The vibes be hitting. When yeah, I was yeah, in yeah. when I was in LA for the weekend, I saw the subway stations. I, I kept thinking of Woody Harrelson running down Coming off ball. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, hey, shout out hey, shout out uh what's his name? King Marcus Josiah. Yes. Yeah, shout out to yeah. him for that him being his dad in that movie. God damn. He's got a funny ass role in that movie. Yeah, that's funny. It's really funny. What's your third um, one? Oh, that's not your second one. I'm putting on for the Caucasians. We're throwing Hoosiers out there. Ooh, <laughs> the Caucasians. Caucasians. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my shit. dad. My dad had a VHS tape of Hoosiers. Dog. We'd watch hey. it every March Madness roll around. That's hilarious. But you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong with these. I, I, I fuck with them. I fuck with y'all. The Hickory. I, I can't Hickory tell you the last time I watched Hoosiers, though. I can't. 
Is that on Disney Plus right now? It's been, it probably it's been is. some years. It I can't tell you the last time I watched that, but I'm about to run that back. Shout out Gene Hackman. I did just run through all the original Supermans, though. Bunch oh, wow. Of wow. White Indiana Hoopers. <laughs> yeah. They love their basketball in Indiana. That I will give them. They yeah. know their hoops, too. I will give Indiana that. They know their hoops. This but for true. me, my three, I definitely got White Man Can't Jump. Love it. Uh, Sydney Dean, Billy Hoy is just a great combination. That just um, Coach Carter. I love Coach Carter. Just that, that that just was my shit. I could watch that shit all the time, and it was stuck. <laughs> like I love he got game. So I know you said that. I know Jonah said uh, white man can't jump, but my third one is Eddie with Whoopi Goldberg. I love Eddie that. Yo. Where movie. can I see that? Because I haven't seen that movie in years. Man, you might have to. It's not anywhere. It's nowhere. You might have to goddamn YouTube Jonah, that shit. you ever seen Eddie? Oh. Damn. Oh, <laughs> yo. You got to watch. Yo. Yo. It's the best New York Knicks basketball movie yo. you'll ever see. Whoopi Goldberg is a fucking coach. <laughs> Mark oh. Jackson's in there. Yes. Malik Seeley. Rick Fox. Rick Fox. Legend. Rick fucking Fox. Oh, is my God. Hold on. Let's see. Eddie. You talk about some, like, that's Mitch probably Richmond. a good NBA acting movie. Oh, Those my God. Good. They were good. Yeah, it's going to be hard, bro. NBA see. players in this movie. You can just find yeah, clips. Yeah, that was a good one. You just find clips of this shit. But I think, isn't it's not like Netflix or anything like that. No Netflix. I got to find it. No Amazon Look Prime. Up. It's 50,000 streaming things, and it's nowhere. Oh, I found it on stream. YouTube. Yo, it's really on YouTube, bro. <laughs> Yo, YouTube. Hey, speaking of random shit on YouTube, Through the Fire, Sebastian Telfair documentaries on there. Start to finish. That's good. Showtime yeah, has great right basketball there. docs, too. I'm going to put this in our chat. Showtime is top tier. It is. Here, guys. I'm going to put it in our the Kobe, chat on here. And y'all can. There you go. We'll find it. Shit. I cannot believe it, Matter bro. Matter of fact. What? I believe this is on here. It's chilling on YouTube. <laughs> just chilling. I didn't even think about even. I haven't been wanting to watch it. I just know it's one of my favorite NBA movies, some of basketball movies. But Eddie, that's about yeah. Eddie, Coach Carter, White Man Can't Jump. Of course, there's more. But I like Glory. Is it Glory Road or just, yeah, Glory Road? Glory Road. Yeah, I, Glory that, is a totally different. Yes, it is. <laughs> I don't want to mix it up because Glory and Glory Road is different. different. But I wanna that I like that too as honorable mention. But that's that's and a good like list. like Mike honorable mention. That's a class for everybody. I never had to watch it again. You'll never watch like Mike again? Are you for real? If my kids want to watch it, but no. I was about to say the kids don't watch it. Yeah, if they want to watch it, I turn it on. But it's never gonna be a dad be like, I want to watch like Mike. Never. <laughs> I prefer Bow Wow in uh, Tokyo Drift. He wasn't that. Damn. He wasn't that. Real what actor. Up? Y'all got anything else? We like about? We had almost at two hours. It's been fun. We've just been talking. I like this. We're just I talking, go talking sleep. shit. I, I, I want to go to sleep. It is about to be. We can, <laughs> we can shut and close it down. We done. We're done. Jonah wants to go to bed. Peace, y'all. Shit. Hey, I got a, I got a quick story for y'all real quick. You want to hear a quick story? Yeah. All right, we're at bed. Listen. So, <laughs> real quick. No, real quick. Me and Raina was coming in the house all the night. All the night. And she was just, we were just talking, and I forgot what we was talking about. I was coming through the back back door. I was going in the basement to let Bo outside. And what the fuck is in my basement? Batman. Raccoon? Raccoon? A fucking what? bat. Oh, hell no. Nah. I'm moving. Flying, That's not a fun, bro. That's not a fun one to up. have in the crib. Pack me up. I'm out. In the basement. The so Raina ran up the stairs. She the closed racket. the door. So now I'm like... You know, basements don't have like the the tallest ceiling. With me being tall, I got my hair like this, so this I see this bat. So I'm not my crazy. I'm trying to see if this is a bird or a bat. I realize this is a bat. This motherfucker is big. Um, I, I'm screaming, running, running. Think I'm falling over kids' toys. I'm not doing that. I'm trying to get the fuck out the house. So I can let this thing fly out the house. Yo, brand. this big. You don't understand when, when when things are small outside, but when they get in your house, they're big. <laughs> that, that was a, that 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 was a scary Everything shit. Everything bigger, yeah. Yeah, so now I gotta make sure if like shit on my roof is like if it's a hole or something, it's nuts. Nah, just move, just move. Yeah, I'm moving next year. So so, 
unless you got you brave it out uh, for a year. Unless you, you got five hundred k to drop right now, I'm not moving to the next year. <laughs> Dog, I had uh, at my last apartment, I had one little mouse come in. Tell oh. me why I went home that night. <laughs> Yo, you didn't go I home. I went home. I went home. I packed up. I was out. I was like, I'm going to go home. I'm going to stock up on the traps, whatever I need. Then I come back, fight them, you know, do what I got to do. But I was gone. No, I feel that, bro. That bass scared the fuck yeah, out of me. 800 bro. glue traps in his room. No, that bass scared the fuck out of me. I Man. It, 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 made my, it made my heart jump, bro. Because a bat, a little bat in the house looks big as fuck in the house. Shit, a bat anywhere. We got, we got nothing scary. crazy so fuck. far. Yeah. Yeah, knock on, you know, yeah, here. Knock on, knock on your wood. <laughs> Not gonna y'all would. But <laughs> I'm gonna end it there. I know Jordan won't go to bed. Yeah. We're gonna let you get some sleep, my boy. Oh, uh, man, y'all, it's been fun. I love this. This is Y'all don't get a lot of this in the summertime because before we have our summer break, it's not gonna be a lot of basketball. It's gonna be some, but we're gonna, it's gonna be talking. Y'all gonna learn about us. We, it's more about us than just basketball. Yeah. We talk, we talk we're gonna shit. Talk, we're gonna talk baseball one day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because it's baseball season. Because it's baseball season now. I told y'all. Yeah, goofy. You're disrespect. <laughs> you're disrespecting the baseballers. Nah, no. they were over there just doing their thing. They were. You know, baseball been kind of lit this year. I ain't gonna lie. Baseball been kind of lit this season. I'm it's not gonna chaos. Lie. It's chaos. It's. I have not enjoyed I'm picking up. It's just about to be July, and I've been enjoying I'm baseball this much already. You oh you a huge Reds fan now? I hear you. They're, they're fun to watch. Everybody a huge Reds fan. No, they're, they're, fun they're, fun. they're really fun. They're really fun. But no, we're gonna get up out here. Look at Jonah go to bed. Watch. Um till next week. You know, you know where to find us. You know, you know all our socials. You feel me? So till next week. Peace. <laughs>